Okay, I see what happened. Okay. Um, yeah, that was from that was a holdover from the other night. My apologies, everybody. Go ahead, Luke. Continue. I need, I need, a, I need a countdown. I need a countdown. Damn it. Three, two, one. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the game room. I'm Luke to the MS Project to kill everybody. Be entered here. It's me. Hi. Okay, you're all caught up. Um, announcements for tonight. We're going to get right into it. Um, I'm DMing tonight. Tomorrow we're going to do the uh, open lobbies for Phasma with WeeWoo because we didn't do that last week. So we're making up for it. It's going to be fun, spooky, screamy game. Um, Thursday, Mr. WeeWoo is then DMing another beginner tier mission. Um, so buy now if you, if you want to guarantee a spot because I updated the priority before this game. So pretty cool. Um, and then other scheduled stuff. We got some backstory missions coming up in November. We are looking at Brother Gregor and Lathiah. So those will both be super sweet. I'm going on one of those. I'm so excited. Harper what? hasn't been on a backstory yet. <laughs> uh, and we're also rapidly approaching the 100th episode of Pack ever, which is kind of a big deal to me. It, it, that's pretty... I don't know. That's longer than most D&D games go. Yes. It's like... <laughs> It's very humbling. It's very like surreal when I'm like looking at like tea leaf stats done by Jay Milio and everyone. Thank you. I'm, like episode 91. I'm like, we've been doing this a while. Uh, so that would make this episode 92. So you figure a couple that's a, weeks. That's a good number for me. Yeah, about a month from now, end of November ish, will be the 100th episode. I have several ideas. So depending on how things end up working out, um, it can be one of several options but i've been brainstorming on it and i'm really excited about it so definitely stay tuned for little hints and little tidbits about what that could be all about um i haven't told anyone because you know it's me but anyway um casually I, forgets he told me an idea today i told you an idea but then i, I thought of a better idea <laughs> i love it and I'm just going to tell everyone a different idea so then you're all confused and then no one knows who's uh, right. Yes. No leaks yeah. that way. Or it's, you know where exactly. the leak came from. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, other than that, uh, we do have our holiday break. We're going to be taking sort of the end, tail end of December off and the beginning of January off just to, you know, give people time to enjoy the holidays and all that. So no streams for those little couple oh. weeks, but. No scheduled streams. If if somebody yeah, gets it in their bonnet to be like, hey, I'm going to stream on the game room tonight, that may happen. Yeah. That that typically will be me, and I'll be like, oh, well, let's do this tonight. Because I know we, we we did um we did a one-shot last year, but I don't know if we're going to Christmas oh, no. one-shot this year. That was fun. That was, actually was a really good one. Maybe, maybe we um, can introduce that to uh, random tag players if they want to do it. Maybe, maybe. We'll talk, we'll talk. All right. Sorry, Luke. It's all good. It's all good. Um, other news, uh, just reminders for people. Um, we've got some links if people are interested in supporting the channel. Uh, we've got an affiliate link with uh, Reaper Miniatures. So if you're playing at home and you want some really high quality minis or you're into mini painting and all that, um, they're pretty reasonably priced. And uh, every, I think, what is it, exclamation point Reaper in the chat? Um, every I thought it was. I think it is. Uh, every uh, every purchase made using that link gives us sort of more street cred with them, and they can give us promotional money and stuff that we just flip right back in the channel for giveaways and like that. So uh, help yourself, help us, help you kind of thing. Um, we've also got an affiliate link with Inked Gaming. So if you're into, you know, nice custom mouse pads, bags, hoodies, tapestries, I mean, I got the. I, I could show off that tapestry one day. It's pinned um, but to like, the wall. <laughs> yeah, it's pinned to the wall now. But like some really nice, high quality stuff. Uh, the details very nice, um, so you can you can get yourself something nice there. Um, I think they even do like face masks that you can like get any picture you want in the face mask. Kind of cool. Um, and we've got uh, our Etsy shop. So if you want stuff that we make and sell. Uh, you can check it out there. Uh, our hoodies, our custom hoodies are now there. So you can get the game room logo on the front and whatever logo or picture you want on the back. Dingus, uh, stand up, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dingus has got one. Yeah, so you got the game room on the front. 
I don't know if he has anything on the back of his. I do. Hold on. He does. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. So they're, cool. They're a little different now, but um, that's because we're not making them handmade with love because that was a lot of work for 30 hoodies. Yeah. So check that out if you're interested. Uh, there's lots of colors and sizes and all sorts of fun stuff. So uh, just update on that stuff. Uh, but we are rapidly approaching my 645 moment, which is my cue to like have started the story already. So I'm going to dive right in. Um, I don't know. Okay, so I want to do something because we have a lot of newer players here, and people, you know, there's there's some. I think I think some some of the feedback I've gotten from this community, which I think is important, uh, is that we have these long running narratives between different missions, and sometimes it's difficult to remember to remember what's happened in the past on any particular story arc. So something like tonight, I want to kind of get everybody caught up to speed. So in the past, the Tea Leaf Adventuring Company has taken missions from an individual by the name of Weston Del Malgore, who is kind of a sketchy mercenary leader sort of guy. Um, and in particular, Weston has shown interest in uh, a gr tribal group known as the Storm Scales uh, of Zarus, one of the uh, actually the most powerful war tribe in this sort of very militaristic tribal society in the Scalding Sands. Um, you have worked closely with the Red Blades and the Storm Scales on several missions, helping the leader of the Storm Scales um, slay this giant desert titan and sort of earn his rightful place as the leader of his tribe. Uh, you've also witnessed this ancient transition of power between the blood fist from father to son, where uh, this same individual, Storek, has had to kill his father in honorable combat to, to gain the title of blood fist and become the leader of all of Zarus. Um, you then also uh, partied with Storak, Stormscale, and his bride-to-be, the daughter of the Emperor of Dios, uh, sort of bumped elbows with some high society at a party in Umopo. Um, and I think that's most of what's gone down. There's been other missions involving the Storm Scales and the Red Blades and all that. But tonight's mission begins, as they always do, in the beautiful free city of Kadoria on a lonely peninsula to the north of the Midnight Sea. and. There, on that prime central thoroughway drag, known as Avandra's Alley, right where it turns right into the south, onto Melora's Way, that central town square known as Avis Piazza, sits a beautiful three-story mansion, which now serves as the Tealeaf Adventuring Company Guild Hall. And the Guild Hall, this early morning, is really somewhat cramped with that sort of stench of stale beer and sweat and horses as Weston Del Malgore and the Red Blades have sort of invited a small squadron of soldiers into uh, into the guild lounge this morning, um, sort of rudely just lounging about the place, mud on the boots, all over the furniture, just grabbing food and drinks at a whim. Uh, and Weston is apparently having a very heated but muffled conversation behind closed doors in his office as today's five heroes find themselves kind of awkwardly coming down from their rest to get a morning's meal and seeing all this transpire oh no <sighs> Lithiath is going to take a deep breath walk down the stairs and clasp the shoulder of the first soldier he finds. He goes, hey, you're going to clean this up, yeah? You've got mud what? on your boots. You got a problem, sir? I do. You're going to clean the floor. Your whole lot are going to clean the floor. Yeah? Who's going to yeah. make this? I will. Okay. And he kind of just kicks his feet back up and clicks them together just a little extra. He just kind of puts his head behind his shoulders, just just lounging, almost like try me. 
oh, Luke, which way do I want to do this? Do I want to be like a good person or do I really want to hurt him today? <laughs> Anybody else want to want to tune into this? I was going to say, I think Verna Springweather would come down and say, oh, I heard you were going to clean this up. I just overheard here. Hold on. Here's the map. And uh, here's a bucket. I can get you a bucket of water. Hold on a second. And you know what? Thank you so much. I know it's tough in tight quarters, but yeah, everybody doing their part. It's so nice to see such good boys just helping clean up. I'm so glad you offered. So just one second, I'm going to get you a bucket of water. And I'm going to go find Ted and get a bucket of water. Thank you very much. Boy. Chip, is that a fuzzy doorstop trying to say something to me? I'm going to sweep his chair out from underneath him. I want to break the blinds. He just eats shit on the ground and kind of like <laughs> groans as he kind of gets up and kind of in that clatter of the chair hitting the ground, uh, Reginald's office door opens and you can see uh, Reginald standing there uh, sort of dwarfed in size by the tall, somewhat elderly, but very noble presentation of uh, Weston Del Malgor, the leader of the Red Blades. Uh, both of them looking equally grumpy and pissed off, but apparently having reached some sort of compromise, sort of walking out and uh, Reginald <laughs> scoffing and straightening out his tie. Is everything quite all right out here? Oh yeah, he just fell out of his chair, poor guy. He must be living it up like last night. And then I give Lothai the big just fell down. Borden then stumbles down the stairs. He walks up to the man that was on the ground. And he kicks him in the head. And says, you <laughs> stupid. And then he Weston, walks away. Weston looks down to, uh, to Reginald. You would do well to uh, teach your employees to have a little more respect and discipline for honored guests you would do well to teach your honored guests to respect their hosts reginald kind of sensing the tension kind of <clears throat> well, yes um oh fine and well and all that um don't worry we have servants to clean up that sort of thing. However, uh, we have very special news to announce today. We've we've uh, come to some sort of understanding, and um, the Tea Leaf Adventuring Company and the Red Blades shall be once again joining forces for for a very special day. How lovely! Yes. What kind of a special day is there? Is there a wedding? Oh my gosh! Who's getting married? You don't have to say, but if you want to say. I'd be so excited. Well, my small friend, you're not wrong. There is a wedding coming up. However, tonight is not that day. This wedding Aww. is a couple weeks out. There's much planning to do, but uh, the celebrations are beginning. And the Red Blades, and myself in particular, for our noble deeds in protecting Zaurus and as esteemed allies of the storm scales have been invited to a how would you call it a celebration of marriage uh what what we in the evan ward isles might refer to as a, a stag party in honor of the at Grimsby. this moment Aww. harper would have walked in and been like disheveled kind of dirtied up sorry luke by the way no. um Walks in, kind of looks around. It smells like horse piss in here, and it's not you guys, is it? Oh, you know, oh no, it is you. Um, did somebody say a stag party? I was, but yes. Uh, the blood fist himself, in preparation for the marriage to sanctify and unionize the Scalding Sands and the Holy Empire of Dios, have once again as is tradition become betrothed? Uh, Mr. M M uh, my name is Borden, and I am very religious. Would you like me to do the marriage? I do believe that has been accounted for. I, I'm, I'm very good at my job. I only charge 500 gold. Bye. 
No disrespect, Mr. Borden. I have no fucking idea who you are, and I'm pretty sure that the daughter of the Holy Empire of Dios is going to want this to be a very special day. We Borden can worry about the, the details of again. that later. Tonight, Storak Stormscale is hosting a grand melee tournament to honor his bride-to-be. And the Red Blades have been cordially invited to partake in this melee. Now, due to our business relations in the past, he kind of shoots a side eye down to uh, to Reginald. We've so generously agreed to let the Tea Leaf Adventuring Company accompany us in this party, these celebrations as. Your efforts have also been noticed by the Blood Fist, and he agreed that uh, it should be equally acknowledged as the brave stand of my Red Blades. So we're all going. We're all going to celebrate. We're all going to have a good time. That that sounds marvelous. Uh, I, I think... It'll be nice to be back in the desert. It's a lovely place. That's quite. Um, the Zaurus is... is camels! Nice. That's what it smells like in here! Camels! Sorry, boss. Right. Um, <laughs> so, uh, if, if I could get some volunteers who, who would perhaps enjoy a bit of sporting competition, a little bit getting there. Hands dirty, a little rough and tumble play, then um, that would be that would be most good. The ice blue of Lithiath eyes kind of slowly illuminate and goes, "I'm in for showing some people to how to eat dirt." Splendid, splendid. I guess I'll go. Good man. Weston kind of looks down and gives you a nod. Kind of like yes. the, the soldier who's just kind of like sitting there dazed that got kicked in the head a couple times and just sort of laughs. So, um, I'm going. Uh, Verna, dear, did, were you planning on coming with us? Oh, am, am I invited? I, I oh, think this, so. This is usually a boys' night, but I... I Please I'm join us, Verna. Mm-hmm. I, you guys, I would be honored. Yeah. That would be so great. Excellent. Oh. So, let's wonder... We... we uh, boss, did we, do we we did paperwork for five tonight, right? Uh, it is typically five, yes. Um, uh, there's no only except four. for extreme extenuating circumstances. We we will need another another scrapper, someone feisty and and I willing to, to kick some butt. Yes. And Lithia turns around and runs up the stairs, and knocks on Nola's door. She might be under the bar. Harper's gonna look <laughs> under the bar. Where does o- where is Nola? Fifty fifty shot. She opens the door to her room. She was reading. Oh, Nola. Um, Hi, oh. Lothia. You remember me, right? I do. Okay, wonderful. There's a, uh, well, quite frankly, Weston's still a scumbag, but he wants us to go with him to beat the crap out of people in Sararis for a show for the royalty. Do you want to go entertain yourself with some bloodletting? Why not? Yeah. I haven't anything else to do. Awesome. I'll walk with you. <laughs> and he waits for her to go gather her things and like offers his oh. arm, kind of like realizes it's awkward oh. and he can't really <laughs> so he just No it's very hand. small. <laughs> <laughs> they walk back down the stairs. Alrighty. So um Weston has given a sharp whistle of a command and all these soldiers kind of stand right to attention and you get the sense that there's uh, ready, a departure is imminent. Uh, so players at this point, if there's any last minute shopping or supplies you would like to do, health potions, sticky boom booms, things of that nature, now would be your time to do so. Give you a few minutes. Um, I'd like to get a healing potion or two perfect. or five. Yeah, I'm good. Um, mm-hmm. so I, I need some I need some healing potions. I'm pretty right. sure. 
workout would I need for healing? But let me double check. Alrighty. Fifty gold a piece. No, for like some people. So if the uh, the the regular healing potions are fifty gold a piece. They heal two d four plus two, and you can have mm -hmm. up to one greater, which is four d four plus four. That is two hundred fifty gold. Okay, I will. You know what? I will buy five less. So you can only hold up to four potions total, and only right. one of those four can be a greater. Perfect. Then I will buy yep. four lessers and just stack up little babies. There you go. So that would be two hundred gold. Okay. Got it. Nice. Anybody else? Anybody else? Oh wait, do we have um? So this is a bachelor party, and I know at bachelorette parties, um, you have themed shirts and gifts and like fat heads and things. Is there any way we could very quickly make some themed shirts? Uh, I'm going to be putting on my desert attire, so um uh, You don't want to wear a themed shirt for the for the boy? No, I wanna be able to actually be comfortable because it's hot as hell there. Alright, well maybe I'll make some paper crowns as fast as I can. There that that's a good idea. There we go. That way we all know that we're part of a bachelor party. Alright. Um, so I'm um, going to dress in my full regalia, splint armor with my shield and Ayami at my side. Nice. Yeah. I know it's going to be hot. I know I'm going to be uncomfortable. But the royalty must do what the royalty must do. I have Roberta, to represent. Go ahead and, uh, do you have any sort of tool proficiency that you could make these little crafty paper hats with? That's such a great question, Luke. <laughs> I think the answer is no. And I think that's going to make it even better. Mm -hmm. I have um, I have an herbalism kit. <laughs> Okay. Mm, all right. Uh, just make me just a straight dex check. Just just a awesome. dex check, no proficiency. All right. Perfect. I really hope this beefs. Oh! That's a real good roll. Hey, not too bad. Okay. So quickly darting around and finding like some old napkins that are lightly used and like a little bit of like a curtain and like some, some notes from, from Reginald's desk that are just kind of like falling off the floor, you know, off the desk and everything. You managed to fashion five, like almost like those little like Christmas cracker, like tissue paper style paper crowns made of like various bits of fabric and paper material together. Um, and they're ramshackle at best, but they are functional and they're Beautiful. better than you were hoping. That's all I wanted. <laughs> That's <laughs> perfect. I'm going to go around and start handing them out. All right. So each of you has a paper crown to mark you as part of a bachelor party. Beautiful. Oh, I'm going to get perfect. my tonight. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's, I, hmm. <laughs> okay. I will babysit. All right. Hey, uh, hey, Borden. Come here real quick. Lean closer. Uh, Lean close. Oh. Lean close. Yeah. Hey, so um I want you to know that whatever you get into today, I got your back. Okay. But don't screw up. Oh uh, uh, You know what I'm saying? Like I like I got you, but I don't got you so... that much. So tinker tools. This is or your cute or your thieves tools, or you know. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, are I'm you uh, light with your fingers and maybe pick it, a few purses? It, it, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready to go? Let's go. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. This is gonna go fucking swimmingly. <laughs> Reginald sensing that everyone is arrived and ready, dressed to the nines in their paper crowns and other equipment. Uh, Reginald summon, summons Amnesty, who more than happily teleports the entire crowd to uh, the Clovenhoof Tavern of Zarus in the Scalding Sands. And immediately the air is much more arid and dry and abrasive as you step out into this tavern and sort of out into the, the front main lobby, outside further into the streets of this bustling uh, desert metropolis. Um, it's sort of a clash of very sort of like dull, harsh earth tone browns and tans and beiges um, sort of splattered with these vibrant, colorful silks of red and turquoise and yellow kind of just 
coloring the city. Uh, you can see off to your left, further down the street, is the Grand Bazaar, uh, sort of this miniature tent city covered with uh, with uh, large awnings uh, to keep people out of the harsh desert sun. Uh, but your attention is drawn across the river Czar uh, to the eastern side of the city, uh, where you can see rising up this giant, almost monolithic structure, kind of this this only bit of skyline in the entire city, uh, which I think, I don't know if any of you have been to Zarus yet, um, but I would like everyone to roll me a history check. I'm from a mopo, but uh, I don't know if that's going to help. Uh, that'll help. Okay. I, I may have been here once with my father, but very unlikely. God, I can't talk about my history through here. I don't know anything about Zararis. No. Where'd the tavern go? Where Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> so hot. So you guys, I have no idea. Real. You are dropped off with Weston and his red blades as Reginald and Amy stay behind. Um, but uh, interestingly enough, Nola, you've you've heard of this place. Um, a little bit of gossip, maybe a little bit of for for sort of juicy drama reasons, or perhaps more martial reasons uh you would know that this massive structure which now as you're kind of like walking and approaching and getting closer looks like almost like um the best analogy i can think of like picture like if any of you have played like breath of the wild like the leviathan bones kind of like rising up out of the ground except almost roman coliseum-esque uh in this giant almost dome-like structure made out of almost uh petrified or fossilized ribs of some monstrous creature um noah you would know this structure as the pit of bones which is the seat of power of the blood fist of czars this is sort of the it it, it serves two functions as almost a palace and then almost this grand arena where a lot of almost gladiatorial style games or uh actual bits of justice and execution are carried out it's 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 a very multi-purpose structure uh but but sort of a, a main tourist attraction of Zarus, if you will perhaps the most important structure to the the culture of these people and it seems like you guys are making a beeline right there um you do have to through your sort of transit um you have to actually take a ferry across the river czar um, and you can see these. How do we all fit on a ferry? They're like this big. <laughs> <laughs> I had to make up for you not having a pun. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I, I, I just got it. Oh boy. You you all managed to catch a ride on these like long, tied together reed rafts, sort of these flat boats, um, piloted by these blue skinned, very tall, lanky, tusked almost troll-like creatures that can all give you warm smiles and sort of like long pole, almost Venetian gondola your way across the river Czar, where it seems to be particularly shallow at this particular point. Um, looking across, you can see flamingos and crocodiles and hippos kind of just bathing in the sun and in the water um, as as the, the gondolas seem to be keeping a very wide berth away from the wildlife here. Um, but this sort of bit of tropical oasis life in the middle of this harsh desert is sort of new and astonishing and, and beautiful for those of you who haven't been here before. Um, as you make your way to the eastern side of the city, uh, the large, lanky, blue-skinned troll waves you all off um, and collects another group of passengers heading to the west, and you guys continue to follow the Red Blades further and further to the Pit of Bones, which only seems to be growing larger and larger as you get closer to it. It's very, like, New York City skyscraper-esque, where you find yourself, like, craning your neck up just to just to gather the immensity of this structure. Bye, Iggy. Have a good day ferrying people. He's a nice little troll. Hi, Blue Man. So nice to meet you. His name's Iggy. Oh, I'm He's... so sorry we weren't properly introduced on the boat. We don't have I... time now. My canon is that Harper spent the entire time talking to this troll. Oh, 
I was too friendly busy. and a good listener, not super talkative. That's okay. I talked for both of us. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, Nola. Harper kind of looks like a troll. Ah. <laughs> Harper right. is a del delicate flower and very handsome, and that was rude. That was a little rude. And, you know, we don't have time right now, I don't think, because this is a nice night, but you should apologize later. <laughs> yeah, get mom on you. <laughs> so as you get closer and closer to the Pit of Bones, you can see already there is a massive crowd just waiting to get in line. Um, people of all sorts of various social economic statuses and backgrounds and races almost mob style pushing and climbing and shoving each other into as into this sort of like single file entryway this large archway that also seems to be made out of bones into the actual arena itself proceeding um and you all along with some of the soldiers you're with kind of start to go towards that entrance and weston kind of grabs harper by the scruff of his shirt not quite we are honored and esteemed guests will be taking the VIP entrance. Follow me. And he kind of turns on a heel. Why didn't you tell us before we started moving? Why did you move without me telling you? Out of character. I don't remember saying I was moving, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. Whatever. You know what? You're the boss. But you're the boss, sir. All right. Um, you guys head sort of down around the southern end where there is um, a heavily guarded, uh, almost like a hatchway, a staircase leading down underneath the pit of bones. And you immediately step down, your footsteps sort of echoing off these these smooth stone steps going pretty, pretty deep underground here. Uh, the blaring desert sunlight now fading into just dark. Um, your eyes kind of going that green, almost snow blind sort of effect. Uh, and you can see little twinkles of torchlight further down this tunnel. Um, and after about a three or four minute walk or so, you come to this sort of grand open chamber beneath the pit of bones. Uh, and you can see there are all manner of people and soldiers arming themselves, putting on uh, putting on bracers, uh, attaching very vibrantly colored tabards to their armor, stocking quivers with arrows and the like, just preparing for battle. And uh, there in the middle of it all, you can see uh, sort of laughing and drinking out of this large horn, um, dressed in full battle armor, uh, clearly quite heavily into his cups. Uh, you can see the current blood fist of Zarus, Storax Stormscale, sort of laughing heartily, his arm wrapped around the neck of a fellow blue dragonborn, and just sort of like, you can see the guy is clearly uncomfortable, not nearly as toxicated as his leader, but doing his best to just make sure he's having a good time. Uh, where's the olive oil stores here? Like, should <laughs> we be like, I don't know, uh, Vorden, should we be like helping these guys oil up or something? Like, what's going on here? Can we rob them yet? You do you, but um. Okay. Wait, mate, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Probably not a good idea. Now, actually, look at everybody who's taller, muscular, and more drunk than us. Yeah, but I already kicked one of them in the head twice. No, no, no. These are different people. That was that was a minute ago. So. Oh, um, well, you can kick people. Uh, what I'm saying is, is that these big, muscly, dragonborn folk will probably crush you and I. Without a care, especially that one pointing at Storak. Oh. Okay, um, fine. Oh, also, uh, Nola, Nola, come here. You you went on a you went on a little bit of a uh, skullduggery, thievery, and the whatnot. Um, why not? Excellent. Just keep an eye out. Okay, I'm done. All right. As you approach, uh, Storak seems to kind of finish laughing from his latest joke and kind of steady himself. And you can see him almost already sort of swaying a little bit. And he notices uh, you five with the red blades approach. It's you people from Kaloria. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. So oh, I missed you. And, and Weston walks up and just immediately embraces Storak in this big hug. And Storak like, lifts him off the ground. You can see Weston kind of wins in pain a little bit, getting crushed before he plops back on the ground unceremoniously. 
Oh, I'm so happy you could make it. It wouldn't be a party without red blades and tea. Okay, I think now's the moment. Are you ready? Let's sing. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. It's not my birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's a party for me. I'm getting it's married. It's a party for you. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah, happy birthday. Can, congratulations and condolences, sir. Can, can I officiate? Oh, we got a guy for now. Uh, anyway. uh, Weston kind of speaks up and from one of his red blades pulls out a very lovely, almost like a, a treasure chest. Small. Actually, it looks almost exactly like this because I have one and it's about this size and it's really pretty. Um... And so he presents this and says, Blood Fist, this is a gift on behalf of not only the Red Blades, but also the Tea Leaf Adventuring Company. Uh, congratulations on your official marriage. Uh, we do insist that you don't open it until the wedding day, as it is quite a rare and expensive vintage. Oh, really? Dang, so much! It's lovely i'm so excited to drink it later and not tonight at all he kind of like plops it heavily on a nearby table and one of the other storm scales kind of like takes it delicately and it's like i hope it's not broken and kind of like walks it off um hey he's drinking that tonight harper that's expensive yeah i know i've noticed um maybe not in front of weston no oh okay 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 so uh Blood Fist, what can you tell us uh, in preparation for today's festivities? I see you are begun early without us, and Storak kind of... Ah, start at dawn, finish at dawn, or something, yeah. Um, today, I'm getting married, not today, but today, before I get married, I want one last fight for power and glory and to honor my fallen father and and you know see him like start to like tear up a little bit and like start to cry and then he kind of like sobers back up a little bit and kind of gets takes another big drink from the harper the horn. harper's gonna reach up as he starts to cry and pats him on the hip because that's probably as hard as harper you reach it's like oh that's okay hey big guy it's okay we got you it was lovely that you want to honor your father and yeah dad uh, what Harper P. Swittington of the Amopo Swittingtons. I don't give a fuck. Uh, um, that, that's that's fine. No problem, sir. He kind of wretches a little bit off uh, to the side. Uh, okay. Um, well, you guys ready to fight? We're here to fight. Yeah, not sure. If I mean, fight. Good. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Finally. Fuck. It's my day. We're going to fucking fight. Damn it. You have to know Callie. She works with us. I, I don't know if you, the bronze dragonborn lady. You see um, his eyes light up. Like <laughs> his, this, this, this wave you, of euphoria. You do so, know like, Callie. That's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. How is she? Is she here? No, no. She was off busy oh. doing a higher oh. tier, you know, higher. Well, not higher. Bigger and better things. Is that right? You bigger know, and better than me. He's trying to sell her book. I'll fuck him up. You tell who would tell what's his name? I'll fuck him up. Uh, was she was she was she uh never mind, never mind, no, no, no. Better paying missions, yeah, yeah. That's all, you know, we gotta work for our money. Not all of us are born into godhood. Some of us are just that lucky. Yeah, uh, but my your mighty blessings, sir. Mm. This is all being said very tongue in cheek, by the way. Oh, yeah, he's way too drunk to notice That's it. why he's doing it! <laughs> so who's going to fight in the Grand Melee? It's in a little bit. This one! He, I point to Lathiath. Lathiath, Monte, pleasure to meet you. Oh, no, he don't care. He, like, sloppily slaps a, a giant claw into your hand. It kind of shakes your whole arm. This guy is, is 
pretty large and in charge. Um, mm -hmm. Big boy. Well, um, well, fuck blue me, dragonborn. Though. Blue dragonborn, probably about just shy of seven feet tall. Ripped, chiseled, uh, just an absolute Greek god of a of a person. Um, Until you see him cry and vomit. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Not his. Not his. <laughs> uh, not his proudest day. Um, but uh, seems very excited. So, uh, you guys like one team in the melee or two or because it's there's a like seven of you and struggles a little bit with the counting. Teams are only allowed to be five at most. Oh, we don't need Weston. I know that you're drunk, sir, but they're a fucking bus right here. Right, so you five, or if the tea leaves are one team, you got the matching hats. I like it. Good oh, for you. Me. I, I yep. picked them up myself. I'm real proud of them. It's to celebrate your special day. That's so sweet. Thank you. Whatever it is. I'm getting married in a couple weeks. Not oh, to Callie. Happy birthday. Happy <laughs> marriage. Happy, yeah, for me. Yep. Okay, so the Red Blades will be on one team, and the Hat People are on another team, and we got the Storm Scales, and the Califir, and the Swift Quivers, and the Amanzi. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, hey, everyone, let's get this show on the fucking road. I need a drink, and I need blood. Let's fucking go. You guys hopefully got the same glass. All right, and you see other soldiers begin to cheer and like grab various bits of weaponry and armor and kind of finishing up their prep and begin to head up this sort of spiral staircase uh, kind of around the perimeter that seems to, to sort of branch off at different points and continue up to the actual arena. Ah, Was so. this the VIP area? Oh, I'm so excited. I brought Jesus from home, but I'm curious to see what you have. Oh, no. <laughs> Guys, I think we made a mistake. Everybody hide behind the thiath. Why would we hide? How are we going to see the fight? Oh, no, Miss Verna, I believe we will see it very well. Oh, that's good. I've never been to one of these stag parties before, and I'm just so excited to go get settled. Wait, put my feet up. Honey, honey, we're going to be the fight. As you are sort of swept <laughs> up in this crowd of different soldiers of different war tribes of Zaris, you can hear uh, this like muffled fanfare and the crowd begin to start roaring in anticipation as you make your way back up and around and end up in the Pit of Bones proper. This massive ancient arena, the seat of power of the Blood Fist, and you see Storak kind of peel off at one point being escorted and kind of almost halfway carried by a couple of his soldiers um, up to his seat uh, sort of overlooking the arena. Uh, you can see that there appear to be some officiating individuals that are almost dividing people up as they go and pointing you in a direction, pointing you in a direction. And the five of you actually get split up. Uh, and uh, uh, okay, up okay, bye. To the first map. Oh, no. So. Hey, do I see? What's up? Um, will there be any prep time before the fight to cast spells? Nope. No, nope. gotcha. I mean, you're kind of caught up in the middle of this. Okay, that's fine. As you stand there, um, you can see thousands and thousands of people in all of these seats just looking down on you as you kind of like sunk into the ground, Roman, very Coliseum style, um, and sort of organized in such a way as to divide up all of these different teams or war tribes. Uh, in particular, you can see that you recognize very well. I'm just going to go through. So, so. For the audience and for you guys, to so you can know who I'm talking about. Uh, this token represents the Stormscale soldiers. Those are the blue dragonborn sort of uh, Storax family and his people themselves. Um, these dwarves are the Califir of sort of the uh, Brackleholm mountainous region at the eastern edge of the desert. Uh, we have the Swift Quivers, uh, humans and tabaxis, uh, famed archers of the desert and horseback riders. Uh, and we have the Amanzi, which you recognize as uh, those same sort of tall, lanky, blue-trolled people uh, that were ferrying you across the rivers are. 
Uh, and then you also have uh, the team that came with you, the, uh, the Red Blades. A couple scouts. Um, the Red Blades, is Weston on the field with them? Weston is not. Good. Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Did anybody All right. Hey, is this um? um I, I I looked at the, the 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 troll creature next to me. Hey, um, did anybody mention the rules of this? Like, is this like um, like I yield, I yield, or what's going on here? Yeah. Oh, not Tweety Death, little one. Do not worry. No one is going to. <gasps> oh my God! It's one of them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just really excited that you're using that accent again. No one going to die today, do not worry. Uh, yeah, but no. yeah. you see that, and he sort of points to the middle of the arena, and on like a small pillar, you can see this like crystallized, glowing purple skull. Uh-huh. Perfectly ornate. The last team standing holding that is the big winner. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Best of luck, little one. And he like reaches down with his three fingered hand to like shake your hand. No problem, boss. I I don't have any actions, right? Uh, I will say everyone, because you asked, can have one round to prep or ask any questions. As you guys are kind of scattered around the arena here, next to a bunch of different looking strange people. I am pixie dusting and casting fly. Okay. Doing a little bump. Little bump. I feel like this is the Hunger Games. Kind of. All right. Um. So you're gonna cast fly. Yes. Sir. Uh, Verna, is there anything you'd like to do in preparation? You're next to one of these storm scales himself, actually. Um. Oh man, what Lizzie wants to do and what Verna wants to do are very different things. Um. I think what Verna would do is strike up a conversation with the guy next to her. Just be like, okay. Oh gosh. I, I, you know, I thought we were just coming here to watch, but this is so exciting. I've never been to a stag party before. Have you? How do you know the birthday boy? He's actually a distant cousin of mine. Um, he's a strong, capable leader. I'm very yeah, respectful. Yeah, he seems both strong and capable. Yeah, did you guys grow up together? Are you close? Um, I always was sort of more in his shadow, uh, more of a protector, bodyguard of the like, because he was, you know, son of the blood fist is sort of important, so we want to make sure he stays safe and, you know, his peaceful transition of power and all that. Yeah, so, oh, so I know nice. his name. He probably doesn't know mine. That whole sort of, you know. Oh, you got a big family? I got a big Yeah, there's a lot of us. You know how it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. You just lose track sometimes. Family reunions. It's like you're meeting people for the first time. It's yeah, like, you oh. know how it is. It's you know, and <laughs> the old blood fist with all his wives and everything. There's just, you know, keeping it all straight. It's nuts. <laughs> but but uh, Alana's, Alana's, she's, she seems like a, a, good, a good girl. She's got to be good for him. Oh, that's so sweet. I, yeah. I hope I get an invite to the big day, but you know, I'm just lucky to be here tonight. It's so nice. Right. Well, um, you stay safe, all right? This is kind of a rough and tumble thing. I don't want a sweet little lady like you getting too hurt, right? So, oh, yeah, no, I, I, I'm going to stay right back here unless I. All right, well, if anyone gives you shit, you just, you know, you let me know and kind of. I don't want to <laughs> see a lady getting hurt, right? Oh, that's so nice. That's so sweet. Thank you, hon. Oh, right. perfect. Uh, Perfect. All righty. Um, we'll go next to Vorden. Vorden, you are next to one of the uh, Califir. These like big, burly, like actually somewhat tall for dwarves. Um, you know, bright red beards, dressed in like almost winter snow gear, and he is sweating balls in this hot desert sun. But wearing sort of the ceremonial garb of his tribe, uh, he's ready to go. Sort of like throwing axes in hand, kind of just like. Gives you a sup nod of acknowledgement. Is he taller than four feet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Vorden huh? uh, looks over to his friend who's, uh, who's standing next to him. You're only about a and a half, two feet taller than me. My name is Vorden. And, and do you want to see a trick? No. But it's cool. <laughs> Why don't you stay right here, do your trick? I'm going to go grab me that skull. Yeah, well, when you grab that skull and you're dead, I'm going to rob your pockets. Is there any action you'd like to do as part of prep? 
Uh, well, there's nothing I can hide behind, so... Oh, you're out in the open. <laughs> All right. Well, there's nothing I can do. We already did Harper, so we will go to Lithiath next. Lithiath, you are next to one of the Red Blade Skepts over here. Yeah. Is it one of the ones that had many boots and was lounging in the tea leaf yep. company hall? Yep. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> uh, Lithiath, he has a moment. Where he really thinks about just like slicing the Achilles heel, oh, oh. <laughs> but but he stops, he just smiles and goes. So, if I win this, will you clean the tea leaf off? <laughs> what do I get if I win? Ooh, what do you want? It's a mighty fine looking sword you got there. This one. Hmm. Yeah, not gonna happen. All right. Any action you'd like to do as part of your prep? Uh, no. Okie dokie. I'm gonna, 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 nope. I'm gonna put on okay. my shield. Take up my shield. Okay. Just buckle it to my arm. Alrighty. And last but certainly not least, Noah, you're in between one of the Amanzi trolls and one of the Swift Quivers, these sort of like very heavily cowled, um, you can just see like the whites of their eyes sticking out, uh, magnificent curved longbow, taller than him, sort of at the ready, sort of arrows kind of fluttering through the fletchings of an arrow, kind of just waiting for the, uh, the shot to go off to signal the fight. Anything oh. you'd like to say or do? She's not going to say anything. She's just going to kind of look. That's it. Okay. And with that, there is one final blare of horns and trumpets. And you hear what sounds like a gunshot as above you, there's just an explosion, almost like fireworks, signaling the beginning of the grand melee. And I need everyone to go ahead and roll me initiative. Come on. Don't fail me now. I got again. Okay. Uh, click on the token first. Oh, I can't do that if I'm on the ruler, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice, oh, man. 20. Coming in with a 22. Yeah. I don't know about you. Alrighty. <laughs> Beautiful. Okie dokie. Everybody good to go? Yeah, nah, I mean, this, this is good. One, two, three, yeah, four, nah. five. Okay. Then we will start off. Um, I will say, so there's a lot, uh, just as a note, there's a lot of NPCs on this map, and it is a free-for-all fight. It's every team for themselves. So don't think that I'm going to be sitting here rolling dice for all of these attacks. For flavor, everyone's fighting everyone. I will narrate as these guys fight each other and fight you. So I love it. Perfect. Yes. Okay, so... As soon as you hear that explosion with Thyeth, you have the initiative. You are itching to go. You are ready. I am ready. I am out the gate because yes. we want this crystal. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Hey, uh, um, Nick. What's up? Yo. Uh, I got the crystal if you want to keep people away from it. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, that's all right. I, I have a plan to... for this. Sorry. Okay, that's okay. So did I. I'm going to stop here. <laughs> oh, you have Echo stuff. Uh -huh. I love it. Bonus action, pull out my uh, Echo, and he's going to stand right here. Okay. So he, he pauses, he looks to the crystal, which is just farther from him, and he goes, well, they didn't say I couldn't bring a buddy after we started. And he pulls from the air as it glitches into view by the skull. And it's going to bend down and pick it up. Okay. So your echo is holding the skull. I'm going to mark whoever's holding the skull with the little skull and crossbones. Cool. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Anything else? And then I'm going to hold my action to, to... That's it. That's all. Okay. How much health do you have? You have 37? 37, yeah. Oh, it's weird that your tokens are linked. That's dumb. Okay. Yeah, it's because you're using the same token 
Yeah, have I'm a... just going to mark one of them as yellow for the echo. Yep. Okay. Okay, that'll bring us to Verna. Uh, so I'm going to look to my right, uh, and I am going to cast Entangle right. I'm going to get these two boys right here and here by casting it the 20 foot square just doing some quick square stuff like that that's exactly what i was thinking beautiful i got you i got you yeah let's get the boys there so they have to make i believe it's strength saving throw yes okay so we got one strength saving throw from the red blade scout uh, and one from one of the swift quivers. Okay. okay. Uh, both of them fail as they are both grappled and restrained by your spell. Uh, just sprouting out of the dirt and packed sand and like thin layer of bone on the ground of the arena here. Just these desert vines start to wrap around almost like tumbleweeds kind of grasping at their hands and wrists and ankles, keeping them locked in place. Awesome. I'll yell out to them. Sorry, hun. Just couldn't have you grabbing that skull there, okay? Mm -hmm. That's my friend. That's my team. We're team hat people. <laughs> I love it. Alrighty. Any movement? Or? Oh, you know, that's such a great question. Um, I am going to move. I'm going to move 5, 10, 15, and then I'll take a diagonal 25 just to go towards my friend. Lathias. Okay. I like it. I like it. Perfect. Already, that'll bring us to Harper P. Whittington. Okay, Harper is going to fly. I believe I measured it to be forty feet. I was on. Yep, forty feet. Okay. Because it increases my movement speed. I'm just flying yep. on the ground, and I'm just going to look at the echo and be like, "I take that, and I'll keep it safe." Mm -hmm. Is the echo give it to me? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like it like when it picked it up and like held it out as if expecting somebody to come ah, take good, it. Ah, good, good. So okay. I take it, um, and I go twenty feet up because that's okay. the limits of my movement. Yep. Um, it was a it was a free action to interact and grab, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. I will take an action to go sixty feet up. I wish I had okay. thermaturgy. So in um. <laughs> In Harper's biggest, best salesman voice. And you are witnessing the power of the Tea Leaf Adventuring Company, your premier entertainment fighting crowd. And I'm going to. There's I'm, a roar of applause from the crowd. And that is my turn because I don't have bonus actions at this time I can use. Alrighty. Uh, you, my friends, uh, we're going to go on to the Swift Quivers. This one who's entangled is going to try to break out. He doesn't take any damage from Entangle. It's one of those spells that don't have memorized. Um, I don't think so. Hold on. I'll take use this action to make a strength check. Okay. So he's going to use his action to make a strength check against your spell save DC. He fails. He's still just completely spending his whole time trying to break out. Um, you see uh, this one down here near Vorden knock an arrow and is going to fire two shots at the echo mm -hmm. um the first one is a 19 to hit it dissipates the echo all right so two shots faster than you can expect both of them one of them passes through the echo and the other one goes right through where the echo was standing and actually impales onto the pillar uh so the echo is gone um this one over here is going to shoot up at you, Harper. All right, he'll be shooting. And you see him actually, like, he takes his thumb and kind of, like, pulls down his, like, coil a little bit and kind of, like, rubs some sort of substance under his eye as he sort of looks up and is almost, like, tra tracking you flying upwards. He's going to take a couple shots at you. He's going to use his archer's eye ability. Okay. Um, so the first one, he's going to add eight to the roll. That's going to be an 18 to hit is that at disadvantage. Is all right, so that will be a hit, but I'm going to make him use second uh, chance. Oh, you're muted, Harper. Okay, that is a hit, but I'm going to make him use... I'm going to do second chance and make him roll again. Okay. 
because I got to make it through this turn. <laughs> yeah. Um, that is a twenty-one to hit. That's oh that's not good. No. That's a hit. Yeah. Okay. That is a uh, disadvantage too. Yep. Okay. That's uh, it's fine. gonna be ten points of piercing damage. All right. I need a Constitution saving throw. Oh, okay. This is Come on, nothing man. unexpected. Mm -hmm. 13, so the fly yep, stays in place, so I'll take yep. 10 and, damage. Yep, and he's going to shoot you again. And that's at uh, regular, so... The, it's a natural one at the, the first one. So he, like, knocks and fires, and he fires so quickly in succession, almost like those guys from, like, Avatar The Last Airbender, this, like, super sweet <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Two arrows, and the first one hits you, and it kind of, like, rocks you, and you reel in the air, almost, like, backflipping. And the second one passes, like, right where you were, but he wasn't anticipating such an impact, so he misses with the second attack. Um, you see Thanks, bud! This one over here, pull out two knives and just start carving up the red blade over here. Um, so he'll take, like, half his health. Sure. Okay, that'll bring us to Noah. Oh, gosh, okay. Um, well, all I really know is that, uh, Harper had some sort of plan. So Nola's just going to start kind of running that way and be like, um, you said I was involved in something and I don't really know what it is, but here I come. <laughs> okay. You want to tell me what it is now? Oh my gosh. You have the, you have the thing. It was theft. We can't do that right now. <laughs> Well, I wish you'd been more clear before. Noted! <laughs> Just holding his <laughs> side in the skull like... Mm. And she'll um, look back and throw a psychic blade at our friend here. Okay. Oh, with the crit! Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, no sneak attack on that one, because you don't have an adjacent ally, but that is still 14 points of psychic damage. Nice shot. Um, and then I guess we'll uh, bonus action the same thing to our friend okay. here. Okay. Sitting at AC. Okay. Uh, that's actually a hit, so that's going to be another 5 psychic damage right there. Okay. And nice. Kind of like rushing out, kind of jumping back, two psychic blades going, striking both of them. Nice. The Amanzi are going to go. Uh, this one is going to step up, 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, and seeing you strike out at his friend, uh, he kind of like rubs his hands together, and you see this little spark of fire begin to produce, and he's going to uh, throw a little produce flame at you, Nola. Uh, that's a 15 to hit. Yeah, that right, that's gonna, will. That's going to be eight. Well, like, so armor my class? armor class is 15. So. Yep, so, yep, so okay, tied, yeah. yep. so that's going to be eight points of fire damage to you, Noah. Um, okay. This one over here is going to... Let's see. He's going to step right up here and just claps his hands together and cast a thunder wave and just blast <laughs> these guys back. Uh, they're both going to take a decent amount of damage. Um, and then this one over here, uh, is going to steal a trick from your book, Verna, and is going to cast Entangle right there. Uh, so I need a strength saving throw from Verna and with Thias. All right. Both of you guys also grappled and restrained by this spell. <laughs> all righty the red blade scouts are gonna go this one is gonna make a strength saving throw uh what's your spell save dc verna i think it's well. higher. okay so he does manage to get out uh and it's just gonna kind of tuck and rumble out here that's his full action these guys are gonna fight back here he's gonna do a little bit of damage to that guy this one's gonna shoot this guy pew 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 he's gonna take a little bit of damage there um this one's going to kind of tuck and roll away and fire down at this guy. He's going to take a little bit of damage there. That is the Red Blade's turn. That'll bring us to Vorden. Uh, this was the one that attacked Harper, right? Uh, no, that was actually this one. This one right here shot the Echo. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. If you want to go after one that just went after someone, go after this one. Okay. You got to, to really use that sneak attack, I, you got to meet up with somebody. I know. I know. Yeah. So I'm if we I'm... meet up with each other, we can use it off of each other because yes. we're both rogues. Um, yeah. Remember that you can bonus action disengage. Yeah. All right. Uh, Morgan looks over to the the tall grizzly man who's sweating up and looks like he's about to pass out. <laughs> I'm braver than you are. And then Borden will uh, run out into the field. All right. Are you disengaging? Yes. That's okay. Bonus action. bonus action to disengage. You got 25 feet. Yep. Um, let's see how I should do this. Get you right up next to that one if you want. Uh, yeah. I'm going to do that. Okay. Right here. Right yeah. There. Perfect. Yep. And uh, that's my turn. Beautiful. Okay. You still have an action, don't you? Yeah, that was only your, that was only your bonus and uh, movement. Movement. You still have an action. Yeah, but oh god, I attack now. It won't be sneak. Still worth attacking. But it's yeah, you can still yeah, every little bit of damage attack. helps. All right, I'm going to attack that guy. Yeah. Which one? Sorry. Uh, yeah, that one. Okay, go for it. Uh, the one that looks like a picture of a sunset. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it does. Yeah. Alrighty, that'll hit for three points of piercing. Yeah, get fucked. Right. <laughs> nice. There you go. Okay, that'll bring us to the Califir are going to go. This one's going to start bashing on the storm scale. This one's going to start bashing on the storm scale. This one's going to turn and start bashing on the storm scale over here. Uh, definitely you can sense some animosity between the Califir and the Storm Scales. It seems like they're all coordinating okay. to take out the Storm Scales first. Okay. Um, this one is going to go and attack the Red Blade and actually just takes him right the fuck out. Okay. <laughs> all right. Harper is going to be like, oh no, he, I was going to yell first blood and I'm like, oh wait, no, I'm not. He, <laughs> I'm first he blood. Really, he really, I really should have made that bet. <laughs> but I wasn't going to give him my sword. <laughs> so, <laughs> alrighty, that'll bring us to the storm scales themselves. Um, this one is actually going to pivot around, uh, and he's going to attack the Calafir there with a couple good bits of damage. Uh, this storm scale over here is going to kind of pivot around, and attack this Calafir, good damage. Um, this one's going to move over to help his friend, and they're going to gangbang this one Califir over here. Uh, that's it for them. So to bring us to the top of the initiative is Lithiath again. Lithiath, you are grappled and restrained by the spell. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attempt to break out of it. So it's an action to make a strength check. Okay. Oh, uh, that's a strength tied. save. Oh, okay. So I just need a check. Uh, strength. Ooh, unfortunately not quite enough. All right, and then uh, I'm still able to do bonus action, so I am going yep. to do that. And he is the echo uh, beside Verna. Or not Verna, sorry, Nola. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Alrighty, that'll bring us to Verna. Verna, you are grappled and restrained. I would also like to not be grappled and restrained. All right, so go ahead and make me a strength check for me. Oh, just barely trying to fight it, but you are also still stuck. The DC is 12. Oh, so close. So close. <laughs> All right. That might be it then. Yep. Alrighty, that'll bring us to Harper P. Whittington. All right, so Harper is going to drift over here five feet. Okay. Um, An oldie but a goodie. He's going to take the dagger of venom and drop it to the ground. Okay. Morden, use that! 
I give that out to people more than I use it myself, and I love it. Um, so that's five feet of movement. I'm going to go another 20 feet in the air from there. All so right, so you're 100 feet up. No, I didn't go the full 60 last time. I only went um 20 because that's all I had. Oh, no, I used my bonus action movement. Yep. Or my action movement, I should say. Yep. Yeah, um, you're 80 feet up. Okay, thank you. So, yeah, I'll go another 20 feet to an even 100. I am okay. going to pop a healing potion. Okay. And I'll roll that after this. So, 25 feet over, 20 feet up. I, 30, 30, uh, actually, 30, 45, 50, 35, 40, 45, 50. I'm about right there because I okay. think this will be an okay spot as soon as I just take care of something. I am going to cast mirror image on myself. So four duplicate or three duplicates. Is mirror image concentration? No. Ooh, nice. Okay. That is why this combo works so well. Yeah, buddy. Um, and that's it. All righty. That'll bring us to the Swift Quivers who sort of whistle when they begin to speak. Does anyone speak to Baxi? No. Okay. That's to Baxi. <laughs> um, Mr. Harper, you are going to have a grand total of four shots coming at you. Has it been my um displaced close to close to displaced? It hasn't reset yet. Yes, it has. At the start of your turn, it resets. Start of my turn. Okay, so yeah, that's yeah. at disadvantage. Okay. Yep. And so, it, it's all the resolving of mirror image first. Yep. Uh, so the first one's going to target you, so at disadvantage. Yep. Um, he is going to... He's going to use his Archer's Eye ability. Uh, still misses with the first attack. Second attack is also a miss. Um, okay, and then the other one's going to try to target you. Uh, targets you. Uh, he's going to use his Archer's Eye ability and shoot. At disadvantage is a 15. Miss. Miss. Okay, oh. second shot at disadvantage is a 14. Okay. Um, those are those two. This one's trying to break out. Can't quite do it. Still restrained by Verna's spell. Uh, this one comes over here and just like... Lego style dual blade takes out one of the, the red blade scouts with ease. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four of those guys. That'll bring us to Nola. Okay. Um, I guess I will. Well, are they like they being La Lothith and Verna, like two in there to where I can't like get them out? Or can I try and like. You can use. Help? So. So you can use your action to either help them, which will give them advantage on their strength check, or you can your attempt to strength check, strength check yourself to pull them out. Okay. I am not good with strength, so maybe that's not... Um... Okay, I guess at that point I'll just keep going with right. uh, attacking. All right, who do you want to shoot? So we'll go with this friend over here. Okay. And we're going to do what we always do and throw a psychic blade. Nice shot. That's eight yes. psychic damage. Okay. Um, and then we'll do another one over to this guy here. With okay. the bonus action. Sure. If that'll go through. Uh, 15. Nice. Yep, 15 also hits. So I'm going to take the 8 there. Nice shot. All right. Getting the damage out. And I will probably just stay where I am. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, the Amanzi's turn. Um, you can see... This one's looking a little hurt, so he kind of, his hands begin to glow with this, like, green light as he's going to heal himself for a little bit. Uh, and then this one's going to move in to support him, 5, 10, 15, 20. 
uh, and it's going to just try to club you with this like gnarled wooden staff. Um, so against you, Nola, that's a 20 to hit. Yeah. All right, that's going to be three points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Not too bad. This one's still concentrating, so he's going to kind of back up there. Um, he is going to throw a little fireball at this uh, 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 swift quiver, brain fart, and actually misses. Um, that's it for uh, this guy's gonna, still going to go. He's going to throw a fireball at this guy and take out that Calafir because they're gangbanging on him. Um, that'll bring us to the Red Blade Scouts. This one's going to move over here. This one's going to take... Um, where is he? He's going to take two two shots at you, Harper. Okay. Uh, first one targets one of the clones. So against the clone is a 19 to hit. I believe that hits. All right, so one of the clones is gone. Yep. Okay. Second one is going to be Shuango attack is a 23 to hit but is that one targeting you or a clone let's find out mm -hmm. uh, that one's also targeting a clone so the oh, 23 for 9 will take out a second clone okay nice oh I was doing it too so I need one more oh, dot. oh my bad no, I got you don't worry yeah thank, there you thank you okay Perfect. You're, you're breathtaking I told you that today one two those are dead there's only two red blade scouts left so that brings us to Vorden nice all right. The dagger of venom is lying next to you. Borden picks up the dagger of venom, and he's like, I "Little new toys! It's been so long since I've had a new toy." And he looks around. That's a loner. That don't worry. It's it's mine for now. <laughs> he looks around. And uh, he's going to begin, he's going to move over here. Okay. Um, and then, so for the Dagger of Venom, is the bonus act, so like, my action would be to attack, and then you would need a bonus? No, to... so you need, a, you need an action to activate the poison? Yep. So it's like a prep weapon. Okay. So it's something you'd have to do ahead of time. Okay. But it's still a plus one magic weapon. Yeah. yeah. All right. And uh, now that I'm now now that I'm next to another rogue friend, I'm going to attack this mean person who keeps right trying before. to kill my friends. Nineteen will hit. Look at that. Uh, so the the tens don't count because they the. the... Yeah. But the four damage will get in there, and then you can add your sneak attack damage there. Okay. Uh, so it'll be 2d6, I think. Yep. Ooh, big damage. All right, so there's 11 points there. He's looking pretty hurt. Nice shot. All right. And uh, as for my bonus action, I'm going to disengage. Okay. And that's my turn. Okie dokie, where are you moving to? Yeah, you can move up. The I line. already moved. Oh. Uh, you got. You can move out of the fight. Yeah, yeah I just can move out there. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. That'll bring us to the Califir. Uh, this Califir is going to just double attack that uh, Stormscale and actually manages to overpower the Stormscale and take him out. Um, this one's dead over here. This one is going to move right on up. Right up to the Echo. It's going to swing it at the Echo a couple of times. Uh, the first one's a 22 to hit. It goes through the Echo, yep. All right, so Echo is gone. Um, and then this one over here is going to attack and miss the Stormscale. Okay, that's them. That'll bring us to the Stormscales themselves. This one's down. Um, this one's going to move and quickly dispatch of that red blade in two fell swoops. This one's going to move over here and attack him. And this Amanzi's looking pretty heavily hurt there. Um, this one's going to attack here and take out that one right there. Boom. Okay. 
Uh, that'll bring us to top of the round is Lithia. Okay. You are well, still being entangled. I... Mm -hmm. I had a plan and it involved my echo and now I don't have my echo, so I don't I have know. a plan. <laughs> um, well, sorry. Who was... Who was the one that cast Entangle? Uh, this fucker up here in the corner. Okay. No, this guy's too close. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna have to go with the same thing I did last time. I'm gonna manifest my echo. I'm gonna manifest him. Uh, I guess beside. Within fifteen. We're gonna feet. do here. Where is it, sorry? Here. Right there? Yeah, okay. they're, they're all work too. It doesn't matter. Cool. And uh, actually, we'll be here so that we're by beside everybody. Cool. And then I will attempt with my strength to break out of this stupid hold. All right, you managed yeah. to do so. And I will move myself because I still have movement here. Perfect. Nice. All set? Yep. All right, awesome turn. That'll bring us to Verna. Verna, you are also still entangled. That stinks. I'm going to try to not be entangled. All right, I need a strength check. Hey, you also break out. Easy peasy. Oh, all right. I break free. I get out of here. That's five. And I'm going to go 10, 15, 20, 20. I'm going to head back towards my friends. Okay. All right. And as a bonus action, can I try to use one of my beads from my necklace of prayer beads? Ooh, I forgot you had that. Of course. <laughs> um, what? D20? Uh, I think I specified which beads were on there. In okay. the actual write-up. So I think you have, like, one of Bless, one of Cure. I think I put it on the character sheet. That's at the very nice. top. Oh, at the very top. Hold on. Um, shoot. <laughs> no, I don't see it, Luke. I'm sorry. No worries, no worries. Let me take a peek. I think I copied it. Nope. Okay. So you have um, basically one of all of them, except you do not have Planar Ally or Windwalk. Okay. Fair enough. So you have one of Bless, one of Cure Wounds or Lester Restoration, one of Greater Restoration, one of Branding Smite. And you can cast as a bonus action. Cool. Can I cast Bless on my friend Harper? Uh, unfortunately, Harper's way up in the sky, so you'd be out of range. Oh, you are! I am a hundred feet in the air. Yeah. Darn you, I forgot! Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna give it to Lathias then. Okay, and actually, as part of Bless, I think you can pick up to three up targets. Up to three for targets for Bless. Yeah. What are you guys knowing the rules of stuff? Alright. It happens like, occasionally. <laughs> all, all three of you boys down here on the floor, everybody gets it. Lathias, all right. Jordan gets it, Nola gets it. Beautiful Aww. spell. All right, bless. so I'm going to give you guys hashtag blessed. You can add 1d4 to all attack rolls and saving throws. Thank you! Nice. That, that, I, if it, oh, I can only do it on ability checks, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. All set? Good turn. All right, that'll bring us to Harper. Okay, um, well, I'm 100 in the air. Um, this, this one down below me is still entangled, right? Correct, yeah. All right. Uh, for one, Harper is going to go through that bombastic little speech I wrote up in the, in the chat. Oh, and God. he's going to fire an Eldritch Blast down at this one. At the Entangled one? Yeah. Okay. Because I got the range. Yep. The airship Harper is up and running. <laughs> uh, so at advantage against yep. this guy? That's going to be right here. 15. All right, 15 is actually going to miss. Despite being entangled, these swift quivers are swift. 
You got some good moves down there. Have you ever thought of working for the Tea Leaf Adventuring Company? Is this one a tabaxi, by the way? Hard to tell because he is so heavily obscured with all these different leathers and cowls. Okay, um, we'll talk later, but... Yeah, good employment, good benefits. Okay. All right. All set? Yeah, that's my turn. I love it. Actually, I I am going to use 60 feet of movement just to glide around the battlefield and be, well, Harper. Okay. Just lazily, just the showmanship of it all. Drifting it, okay. And he ends up right there. Thank you. Perfect. That'll bring us to the Swift Quivers. Um, These two are just following you got a beat on you they're gonna take two sh- uh two shots each so the first shot is against an echo excuse me mm-hmm. uh that's going to be an 11 to hit the echo um, which i believe misses i believe that misses the echo okay a second shot for him is going to target the echo uh that's gonna be a crit so that takes out one of the echoes yep okay uh this one is going to fire uh, and target the last remaining Echo. Spell did his job. Yep. Uh, that's a 13 to hit. What's your dex modifier? Uh, plus two, three maybe? Okay. One second. Let me look. Yeah, plus three. Okay, so the 13 would just hit the Echo, so that takes out the last Echo. Okay. And then this last attack is against you, but this one's at disadvantage because it's against you specifically. Uh, but to counteract that disadvantage, she's going to use his Archer's Eye ability for the third and final time to add 1d10 to the attack roll. Yep. Uh, so at disadvantage, um, would have been a crit, but is instead a 13. Is a miss. Okay, nice. Uh, then we've got this guy up here is also tracking you. He's going to take the long shot at you. Uh, he's still got all three... Um, Archer's Eye abilities, so he's going to take a shot at disadvantage, but add 1d10 to the attack roll. Uh, that's a 20 to hit. Oh, sharpshooter, man. you love <laughs> to see it. That's a yep. hit. Alright, that's going to be uh, 6 points of piercing damage. Alright. I'm going to roll my constitution first, so I okay. remember that. 17. All right, you're good. And the second shot is a straight roll. Uh, That's going to be a 22 to hit, and he's going to add 1d10 to the damage. So that's going to be 16 points of damage on the second one. As he finally beads you, tracks you, nicks you, kind of sees through the illusion, and that second shot is just kind of like barely grazes your collarbone, gets a nice gash. That's going to leave a mark. And another Uh, constitution. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, you you wiggle a little bit in the air, almost losing concentration. That would have oh, hurt. But I like to be... think I almost bobbled the skull too. Like, mm. yeah. so that's going to be a grand total of uh, sixteen plus six is twenty two damage. On yeah, I, I, yeah, that was that was ow. All right, and then this last one over here is going to attempt to break out the strength check. Can't quite do so because Verna is awesome. Actually, ooh, actually, I'm sorry, Verna. In order to cast Bless, you would have had to drop concentration on your Entangle. Is that okay? Nerds, yeah, go for it. Okay, so he is not entangled. Um, so he's no longer grappled and restrained. But he is going to shoot some people. He's going to shoot down at this uh, guy right here and actually take this one out. Nice. Okay, that'll bring oh, my us... my friend is dead. That'll bring mm-hmm. us to Nola. Okay. Um, well, I guess we'll just go and stabby stab our friend right next to me. Okay. All right, that's enough to actually take that one out. Yay. Murder. Okay. <laughs> so happy <laughs> about it. Um, all right, and then... I don't know what I have against these sunset people, but <laughs> <laughs> we're going after the other one. We'll just to bring say they're taller than you. Bloody world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one legitimate reason, and then in the background, you just hear they're taller than you. <laughs> All right, the eleven is actually just enough to hit. 
Oh, um, yeah. So with the sneak attack, because technically you have an enemy next to him there, that's enough to kill him, too. Double kill for Nola. Nice. <laughs> All right, nice. yeah, that's my turn. Staying right where I am. Hell yeah. I think there's only one Amanzi left. He's concentrating on this entangle still. Um, he is... I'm coming for him. Go. <laughs> I'm coming for him. <laughs> um, he's going to... Ooh, we're going to do something interesting. He's going to wild shape into a giant vulture. Oh, no. Harper. Yeah, we're going for that skull. Who Who's so wild shaping? Uh, this one up here. Okay. Uh, so he's going to poof into a giant vulture, uh, which has a fly speed of 60 feet. Oh, so do I. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, so do I right now. So he's still so got a the, double move. Yeah, so 60 feet because it's his. Is it an action or a bonus action to wild shape? It depends on what type of druid he is. That's true. He's a he's doesn't have a circle of the moon. <laughs> so, so he's gonna action. yeah, so he's gonna just dash sixty feet up at a diagonal, kind of flying above uh Noah and them beelining straight towards you, Harper. Uh, -oh. uh that'll bring us to the red blade scouts, uh all of which are dead except this one. <laughs> um this one's gonna take a couple of pot shots at Verna. Because the red blades are dicks. So against oh, yeah. Verna. First attack is a six. Second attack yeah. is an eleven. Get out of town. They suck. They're garbage. Okay, that'll bring us to Vorden. Vorden looks around at the battlefield, and he realizes this is playing it to his little hands. He's gonna think over to this dead body. Okay, he's technically not dead. He's just knocked out. Well, it makes me no. then. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and rob the dead body. Oh, not dead body. <laughs> Just in front of a <laughs> crowd <laughs> of quite literally thousands of people in a militaristic society where capital punishment is the standard. Make an investigation, Jack. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> No. Gordon, are you attempting to be sneaky about this, or are you just going for it? Um, uh, Truffle has decided oh. that we are going uh, uh, not sneaky. We're just going. All right. You see a really, really, really fancy looking like red crystal necklace around the guy's neck, and you just mm -hmm. snap it off. You got a, a red crystal necklace. But he might just be claiming his prize as a victor, so we'll see. And then uh, Ford is going to sneak the little red necklace into his tiny little pockets. Okay. And, uh, uh, and then he's going to take a pot shot at... Uh, hmm. Who should I take a pot shot at, guys? One of the archers, guy. please. This guy will give you... You got sneak uh, attack on this sneak. guy. All right, yeah. yeah. This yeah, guy's we're... been shooting at Harper, so... Hmm. I'm going to shoot the one that's been shooting at Harper. That, that's not a very nice person. Okay. Right over here. Yep. Okay, go for it. Uh, the 10 is going to be a miss, unfortunately. Damn it. All right. Sorry, I didn't even see that roll. No, it's okay. All righty. Then that'll bring us to the Califir. Our dwarven friends. Are there any of them left? It does not look like. Oh, no, there's the one this left guy. here. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to make two big old swings at you, Lathias. Okay. First one is a 13. Misses. Second one is an 11. Just kind of like clashing swords. <laughs> All righty. That'll bring us to the storm scales. Um, this one's going to rush over there. Get a couple of good hits on him. Okay. Um, this one is going to dash over here. Kind of getting up in this archer's face. Uh, this one over here is going to attack the Amanzi. 
Okay, that's it for them. That'll bring us top of the initiative is Lathiath. All right, uh, my echo is going to go here to okay. stand guard beside Verna. And I am going to attempt to bring the uh, pommel of my sword up into this guy's gut. Okay. With the bless is an 11 to hit. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be a miss on this guy. These okay. guys seem a little heavily, more heavily armored. All right. Yeah, you're a bit more armored than you look. Okay, I'll... <laughs> Alrighty, that'll bring us to Verna. I see this vulture out of nowhere, and my first thought is this is a very bad omen for somebody's wedding birthday. So, I would like to <laughs> have... Moonbeam right there. Right on top of the vulture? Yeah. I love it. Okay. Get out of here. This is a okay. nice thing. Uh, I dig it. I dig it. Do its count as shape changing? Would he? Technically, yes. Would he drop? Oh, yeah. I didn't, I didn't know he was a druid. I wasn't paying no, he... attention. He makes the constitution saving throw at disadvantage, which is a 12, which no, still just barely sense. saves. But he still takes a d10 of damage. 2d10 of damage, yeah. 2d10 yeah. half or 1d10, yeah. Just 1d10 or whatever. Whatever you want to do. Let's, let's just do the one. Okay, so he still takes four points of damage, okay. Okay. What a gross bird. Loses concentration on that, but cool. Alrighty. That's a fucking rad move right there. Um, that'll bring... Any movement, Berna? Yeah. I'll move toward my friend, Lathias. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm good. How are that'll you? I just finished coming to you. Why are you coming to me? Oh, yes. oh is that your brother? I'm so sorry. I wasn't sure who you guys. I it's okay. Know. Absolutely. That moonbeam is going to drop the bless, though, because that's another concentration spell, if that's okay. That's fine. All right. Fast and loose. Fast and loose, baby. That's the way to go. All righty. That'll bring us to Harper in the sky. You've got a giant vulture that just yeah. got fucking glared. Yeah, just about to uh, I like to think that Harper just noticed it because of the movie. He's like, oh, yeah. that's, unor that's unauthorized airspace, bucko. Want of magic missiles? Seven charges. Holy yeah. Oh, okay. So he that is going to be nine bolts of unerring force damage. 94 I, plus nine. 94 plus nine. Rolling, loading. 31 right, so points of force damage. 31, so 18 of that goes down to the vulture, yep. which then turns back into the Amanzi. Who, who falls. can't fly. Who cannot fly. Who then takes, that would be 13 points. And then falls about 40 feet. So go up normally 46, we will. Yep. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's just instantly dead, but. Well, that sucks. I mean, I took the same risk, so 10. Alrighty, so yeah, as he transforms, you just see him like grasping out towards you, falls and just <laughs> bounces a little bit as he hits the flat dirt. He is donezo. <laughs> Sorry, bud, I took the same risk. I'm just smarter. <laughs> um, I do have to roll a d20 because I used all seven charges of the wand of yeah. magic missiles. Fingers crossed. No ones. Well, I'm a halfling. That was a calculator right. risk I took. <laughs> All right. I like it. I like um, it. Okay. Cool. So you're fine. I am fine. And um, I am going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 
I'm just going to float to the center. Okay. Um, I bonus action. I am going to drink a healing potion. So that's cool. it. that's the rest of my stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, these two uh, swift quivers are going to just kind of duke it out, do a little bit of damage to the storm scales. Uh, so that's there, and that's there. Uh, then we've got four shots up at Harper. They're just got beads on you. They see the skull. They want the skull. Um, I seem to be annoying people. So the first one at disadvantage with the Archer's Eye ability is going to be a 19 to hit. Yep. All right, that's going to be six points of piercing. All right, and a constitution saving throw. Yep. Uh, Oh, thank God. All right, second attack is going to be a 22 for another six. Yep, and another constitution saving throw. Yep. Next attack is going to be a 22. We're going to attack on a d10 to the damage there. Uh, So that's going to be nine points of damage on that attack. Okay, you can stop now. Uh oh, Harper you're down. is unconscious. Oh, and you are dropping fast, my friend. You were a hundred feet up. Yeah. You hit the dirt, and you take one failed death saving throw. Honestly, better than if I was alive. I think. All right, and the last shot is going to go for Verna. Uh, Verna, that's a seventeen to hit. Oh, rude. Yeah, that's I'm going to intercept that. Ooh, okay. Like Witcher style, deflecting arrows out of the fucking sky. I like it. So instead of 11 points of piercing damage, you are going to take one. Oh, thank you. Oh, shucks. You kind of like just deflect it and it like nicks her in the foot a little bit. Oh, right in, sorry. The, right in the bunion. Oh, don't you ever apologize. You're so sorry. Alrighty. That'll bring us to Noah. Okay. Um... We're going to go over to Harper and give a health potion. All right. And I never remember, like, when I give it, is it me that rolls or is it the other person that rolls? Okay. Your your potion, your roll. Remind me the 2d4 plus 2. I want to get that tattooed, like, right here. 2d4 plus 2. Second. Five. All right, so five health back to Harper. Oh. Oh. Thanks. Oh, my back. Yeah, that sucked. Yeah. Oh. I still got it, though. Yep. <laughs> Nola. Still Already. almost okay. Nola, anything else? Um... I only ask you stay close for a few. Yeah, we'll throw a bonus blade. Even that, though it's probably yeah, going to miss everybody, so that doesn't matter who I tried to hit. Yeah, it's going to be a miss. Alrighty, no more Amanzi. No more Red Blade Scouts. They got their asses kicked. That'll bring us to <laughs> Borden. Am I muted? Yeah, he's muted. Just come back over to me. <laughs> or stay there. That works too. Dangus, you're still muted. You're still muted. Not by 25. I can only go that far. Make him um, move diagonal. Uh, true. Oops. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, if you went, like, here, yeah, that would be pretty good. If you went, like, here, yeah, it could get that right would up next. You can good. move next to this guy, sneak attack on that guy, if you want. Yeah, I'm going to stay there. Then. Um, okay. guys, you really need to take care of these archers. They're decimating everybody. I agree with the archer comment. <laughs> but first... We need to eliminate the other. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a sneak attack. All right, go for it. Uh, and, uh... Ooh, that's a big old crit. Oh, oh yes. 
So that's is... seven plus two is nine points of damage on that guy. He's looking real rough. And uh, sneak um, attack. Oh, one plus sneak one. attack. Was already in there. Yeah, yeah, I already got yeah, double ones. Big damage though. Big damage. He's looking yeah. real hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, d d uh, bonus action. Uh, uh, no, thirty feet per. Yeah, that would get me to. Uh, ooh, I could do that. Bonus action. All right. Disengaged he is gonna take. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh no, because you don't have that much movement. I so bonus action dash. You would be bonus, yeah, action. bonus action dash. Okay, oh, then dash. he's gonna get Sorry. he's he's gonna get one opportunity attack on. Okay, you. yep. So he's gonna swing out as you try to run away for an eleven to hit. Um, miss. Eleven misses. Alrighty, that'll bring us to the Calafir's turn. Uh, he's gonna he's kind of locked in with this swords duel with Lathiath. So we're gonna do two attacks against Lathiath. Mm -hmm. First one's a twenty three to hit. That does hit, yep. Kind of faints and catches you right across the gut for 11 points of slashing. Ouch. Kind of comes in with a flourish for a 17 to hit. Miss. All right, you see that one coming. Yes, beautiful. All right, you kind of just tuck your shield in just in time just to not get skewered. Uh, that is the only Calafia remaining that'll bring us to the storm scales. Uh, these storm scales are going to go. This one's gonna actually going to finish off that archer. Um... And then kind of start moving towards here. This one's going to finish off this archer. Start moving this way. Oh, the, one, the ones killing my art. The archers are the favorites. Mm -hmm. uh, the storm is going to come up and get a couple of good shots on that swift quiver, but he's still standing. That'll bring us to top. Of the initiative is Lithiath. Okay. Only a few okay. factions okay. remaining, guys. Uh. I'm going to uh, I'm going to at the cost of half of my movement swap places with my echo. Nice. Okay. So here I'll just and do that. And so, so I kind of like blur out and he blurs out and then it's like the shuffle of the jazz hands. <laughs> and and we swap. You strip John Cena, I am, and <laughs> you can't see me. Uh, and then I'm gonna get up here so that I'm within interception reach of all of my comrades, and have the echo attack the guy who just hit me. All right, twenty one will hit for six. He's pretty hardy, but he's very hurt. And that is my turn. Good turn, good turn. That'll bring us to Verna. Harper on deck. Uh, so I'm going to use my action to move my moonbeam. Okay. I, I can get it 5, 10, 15, 20. I think I can get it right here and get both these guys. Hell six. yeah. Okay, so tractor beam. <laughs> nice. Okay, they're both going to make con saves. The storm scales are oh. bad at that, right? Mm, they're pretty beefy. I figured. Um, let's see. So both of them are going to save, but they will take 1d10 damage. Okay. So they'll take six each. Nice. Not all right. Not nothing at all. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Anything else, stay, Roberta? I'm going to stay right next to my friend, Lathias. I like it. That'll bring us to Harper. Okay, so Harper is going to stand up, kind of okay. twist and just <laughs> chiropractor and ah! He's going to hand Nola as a, just, I'm not feeding it to her, I'm just giving it to her, one of my healing potions. Okay. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. You um, didn't have to reimburse me. That's eh, fine. I would, I would expect it. And um, so, and I'm gonna drink another one as a bonus action. Okay. So two d four plus two. That's the first time I've used my healing potions completely. Wow. And that's gonna be nice. oh, good healing, good healing. 
Nice, nice. So that brings me to a solid total of 11. Or, sorry, 9, or 13. Because there you go. 6 plus 2. And I'm going to Eldritch Blast uh, this one. Okay, go for it. I said, do you want a job? <laughs> and shoot a uh, Eldritch Blast. All right. Fifteen. Fifteen just misses. These guys are quick. That's fine. Um, yeah. You got his attention, though, as he kind of turns. Yeah. He's looking at you. I'm looking for an assistant. Answer me. Okay. That's my turn. <laughs> All righty. Uh, this one's going to kind of skitter and dance around out of the moonbeam. And as he does so, gets in a couple of nice shots against this storm scale. Um, this one over here is going to take two shots. We're going to take one. He would have taken damage when he started his turn in the moonbeam. You're right. Okay. Uh, so he's going to make a con save. Uh, he fails, so that's 2d10 damage. Six points of damage. All right. He's looking pretty hurt. Um, this one over here is just chipping away. Uh, he's going to take one shot at Lathiath and one shot at Harper. Lathiath, we're going to use our last archer's eye on. Uh, oh. which is, so that's going to be a 17 to hit. I miss. Alrighty. And the second shot is against Harper, uh, at disadvantage is an eight to hit. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, only two of the swift quivers left. That'll bring us to Nola. Um, Luke, did he, this guy actually take his turn after he got hit with the moonbeam? I kind of cut you off. He, yeah, he did, and he like took okay. a couple of, like passing swipes at the storm scale. Okay. These guys both over here are very hurt. Nice. Yeah. All right, that'll bring us to Nola. Okay. So we're going to kind of... Well, yeah, up over here. Okay. And do a shot at each of these two. Okay. One. All right. So the first one is going to hit the uh, Swift Quiver and actually take him out. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. And then two. That one is actually just a hit for eight points of psychic damage. He's just barely standing. He's real hurt. And then that, we're just going to go right back into our little hole over here with our friends. And our, that's our, good. Our phalanx. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Alrighty, that'll bring us to Vorden. You are still muted. muted bud. Sorry, Philip was barking. I'm going to... It's all good. Well, I think it's time to put that man out of his misery. Okay. So, Vorden's actually going to walk right up to him. Okay. And then uh, it won't be sneak attack, right? It would be sneak attack. Oh, even yep. better. Yep. Woo, there we go. Nine points of damage is enough to put him out. Nice. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to dance straight back to my spot. <laughs> That's my bonus okay. action. No more Calafir. That'll bring us to the storm scales. This one's going to move right up. I'm trying to get to... Harper, but you guys have that phalanx going on, so he's just going to brute force try to carve his way through. Uh, we're going to make one attack at Vorden, one attack at Nola. So against Vorden, is a 13 to hit? 13 misses. All right, and against Nola, is an 18 to hit? <sighs> yes. All right, that's going to be 11 points of slash. But with the interception... That's going to reduce it down to two points of slashing damage on Noah. Uh, this one's going to go. He's going to swing out at the Echo. 
uh, and miss the echo, but swing again and miss the echo. Uh, <laughs> this one's going to start his turn. He's going to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, he fails. He's going to take 2d10 damage. And he's going to die. Or get knocked out. You know what it is. Uh, that'll bring us to Lathiath. All right. Uh, I don't appreciate them bugging my friends. So I'm going to step over. Uh, I'm going to attack with my attack. All right. 21 will hit for six. I'm going to have my Echo use the Incarnate. Okay. And make its attack at the standing one. That one's going to be missed, unfortunately. And then I am going to action surge and Ooh. attack the one beside me again. Alrighty. 20 will hit for 8. Ooh, yeah, he's looking rough. Nice. And that is my turn. Nice turn with five. Actually, I'll stay back here so that I... He can go ahead and make that attack. He will certainly do so. Uh, I don't have any of them left. I don't have any of them left. Let's see. Great Axe attack is a 17. That just misses. Mm -hmm. Kind of tuck and roll out of the way. Alrighty. That'll bring us to Verna. Move that moonbeam right on top of this boy. Let's move it right here so it doesn't hit any of my friends. All right. Oh, you got the body coming with you. Okay. <laughs> oh, you tractor beam. <laughs> <laughs> all righty he's gonna make a constitution saving throw uh he fails with a 10 takes 2d10 damage nine points of damage he's barely standing all right cool and i'm not leaving my friend lothia's side no way stand right here all righty that will bring us to Harper Peace Whittington, still holding on to the Crystal Skull. Hey, bub, you look tired. Why don't you lay down? And he fires an Eldritch Blast at the Storm Scale. Okay. From between his friends. Yep. Ooh, no. That's a miss. Well, okay, maybe not yet. That's fine. I, I can <laughs> understand that you still don't, don't want to lay down yet. Um... Mm -hmm. Harper is actually just going to hold it up and, I got a crystal skull! I got a crystal skull! <laughs> That's it. That's my turn. All right. That'll bring us to the last remaining Swift Quiver, who is perfectly happy over here. Uh, we're going to take a shot at the Echo. Uh, it's a 21 to hit the Echo. Yep. yep. Okay. And then we're going to take a shot at Lithiath. Okay. Uh, I see two of those fuckers. I don't like them. Um, right. And the shot against Lithiath is a 14, so that one will. Yes. Okay. That'll bring us to Nola. All right. We're going to do a stabby stab over at Moonbeam Boy. Okay. 16 just hits for 10. That's a kill. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So it's the five of us against this one archer. No, there's still one storm scale. There's still the storm scale. Oh, yep. oh okay. I'm yep. sorry. I didn't see him. Um, okay. And we will go here and at the uh, remaining one over here to okay. our bonus action. For the X That'll blade. hit another seven. Nice shot. Alrighty. That'll bring us to Vorden. Vorden. Vorden just watched Harper throw his little hands into the air holding the skull. Realizing the crowd is now in favor of Harper <laughs> and not paying attention to Vorden. <laughs> He's going to go ahead and rob another knocked out person. All right, make me an investigation check. Um, surprisingly very little on this guy. He seems to have only brought his basic equipment. He's got like this almost like little short sword gladius looking thing on him. So you can add a, a short sword. Yeah. Did you pull him out of the moonbeam? No. Oh, shit, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Never... Sizzle, sizzle. <laughs> 
That's a good That's point. Awesome. That's a good yeah, point. Never mind. I forgot. Oh, that changes everything. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll be a team player. Uh, since I can't steal, uh, I guess I will take a pop shot at that guy. Okay, go for it. Uh, no, uh, no sneak, right? No sneak. Alrighty. Twenty-two. There we go. Nice shot. I I think this is the best new player klepto rogue I've ever seen. Like honestly, I gotta say, you have a way of doing it that doesn't piss people off, and I appreciate yep. that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that'll be it for Vorden. That'll bring us to the storm scale, who's just gonna rush up and like heave this giant two-handed great axe and look down at Verna. And just kind of like see the way this is going. And just, he's just going to drop the, the great axe and yield and just yeah. take a name. He's just going to take a name. He's freaking hands or something. He's just going to take a knee. Yeah, hitting Verna like that was not going to end well for him. <laughs> Alrighty, that'll bring us to Verna. Uh, he put his knee down so. I'm not gonna hit him with my moonbeam, because that would be mean. So <laughs> I'm gonna move it um do twenty to go there is a real sixty. I'm gonna move it right here. That's about as far as I can get it. Up that way. If I go around everybody. Kinda like there, okay. Yeah. Like cool. a shark coming for that last No 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 <laughs> exactly. coming for you. I like it. I like it. All righty. That'll bring us to Harper. Um, Harper's just going to turn around like s slowly and point at the, uh, what are they called? The swift wing? Uh, swift quivers. Swift quiver. Yes. Yeah. And kind of just give him the eye like. You, can, you, can... you see him trembling and you see a small little cat like tail kind of tuck between his legs. He's terrified. <laughs> Harper's going to scream as loud as he can. Do you want a job? And he's going to roll intimidation. All right. Because I'm actually good at that. Oh! 23. He drops the quiver, drops the bow, puts his hands up. Like, he does not want to get his ass kicked today. All right, we'll be talking later. Yeah. Alrighty. And with that, you guys, the tournament ends and you guys are declared the winners. There is another fanfare of trumpets and uh, people start to, medics and such, start to come in and remove the unconscious and otherwise bodies. Uh, a couple couple casualties here. Um, but you guys are invited back downstairs for drinks, refreshments, and the equivalent of a short rest. So we will be right back. It is a little bit late, so we're going to try to keep this one short. We'll be back in like five minutes, guys. Quick, use the bathroom, heal up, grab a drink, all that. Uh, we will be back with the second little smidgen half. I have one little quick encounter just for flavor. Um, uh, and uh, we will see you guys in just about five minutes. So please stick around. Remember, you guys get to vote for your Twitch favorites, so don't miss that. We'll catch you in a little bit.
my googly eye. Welcome back, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for hanging out during that short rest. We are healed up. We are ready to go. We're going to conclude with what happens next at a, a stag party. So as you guys are mingling and celebrating your victory and getting congratulated by other members of the war tribes of Zaris and avoided or scowled at by others, um, you share in a round of merriment and drinks and uh, all sorts of fried meats and sausages and interesting little pastries of uh, sort of a more Mediterranean aesthetic. Um, lots of lamb and Bak pork. And Baklava. Mm. Yeah, falafels, not bad here. Um, you uh, notice that uh, Storak, the Blood Fist, is even more trashed. He's like barely coherent, just kind of like propped up. Uh, and he's got a couple of bodyguards there. And he is does seem to be drinking out of a wine glass now. Uh, he is drinking Red Dragonberry Crush, which is the tea leaf famous wine. And seems to be trying to enjoy it as he's making small talk with Weston. Um, and as he does so, uh, a couple of storm scale, storm scale soldiers walk up to you, the winners. Uh, and one of them actually happens to be one of them that got knocked out, but one of them that was talking to Verna in the, before the actual fight started. Congratulations are shared and, you know, uh, compliments given to your individual combat prowesses and clever trickery and bits of magic used. But one of them kind of walks up to Verna and goes, Hey, so uh, as the victors, you guys have the option. Um, if you want, um, as part of the celebration, uh, we, we've captured a particularly nasty beast, and uh, Storak is going to slay it for his bride in front of the whole crowd. Have a trophy to give her as part of the, the wedding ceremony. Um, and he would That's like so to... Romantic. Isn't it? Oh, such a such a. I thought it was a birthday party. Is is the beast a stray dog? No, it's. I, I actually don't know what it is, but it's something big and something something. Look, you hey, know, come in here real close, real close, buddy. Hey, What's up? I'm, I don't mean any disrespect. I'm just worried that your uh, leader is. It's not so much in his cups. Oh, no, he's fucking tanked. Yeah, so, no, no, okay, so you know, okay. I mean, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I've been watching him all fucking day. I've been cleaning up after. It's a fucking mess. It's, oh, it's, uh, you got something sorry. on your... Uh, you got something yeah, your... thanks. Oh, it's, oh, oh. You, oh, it's red. Uh, okay, that's blood or Shit. wine, but... Probably both. It's a little chunky, so... Listen, I need to ask you guys a favor. The five of you. You all seem pretty chill. You are proved yourself in combat. Store, I could really appreciate this. I need you guys to make sure he doesn't fucking die out there against whatever the fuck they're going to have him fight. But also, I need you to make him look really cool in front of everyone. That's a big respect pride thing. You know, this culture kind of emphasizes strength and prowess and all that. I just need you guys to just, you know, really exemplify how badass Storak is, if you don't mind. But just make sure he also doesn't die, because I don't know what they're going to fight him against, but he's clearly just so trashed that, I don't know. Harper does a little, like, uh, like hand flourish and minor illusions of a bouquet of flowers out of his sleeve. I, I can make people look fancy. Perfect. How much are you giving us for this? Uh, we'll take some money out of the, the coffers from the Blood Fist. I'm sure you'll be compensated just fine. Uh, I'm in. All right. Is this what the kids call being a, a, a bird man, where you, you help your friend out, you know, at the bars and the clubs and such by kind of letting by just being a bird man? I think in bird culture that's considered a dick move, but I don't know. <laughs> Oh gosh! You know I haven't had many. Storak, Storak, we gotta, we gotta fight this thing. <laughs> oh gosh! Ah, oh, jeez! Ah, oh, jeez, Harper. <laughs> All right. So you guys are escorted alongside Storak, who at this point can barely walk and just kind of stumbles his way back out into the crowd. And it's starting to get later in the day. The sun is kind of, you know, the shadows are growing a little bit longer and the crowd is still cheering and everyone's cheering. Storak, Storak, blood fist. Um, and he staggers out and takes the skull 
from you, Harper, and kind of hoists it up high and hands it back to you. Thank you. And the portcullis on the opposite side opens, and you see a few storm scales kind of holding this thing in the shadows by chains and getting yanked and pulled off their feet, and they manage to uh, actually it manages to actually pull them off their feet. They're dragged for a bit, and they let go as this massive hulking creature, this sand shark, comes barreling toward everyone. I need everyone to roll initiative. Luke! <laughs> How could you?! Oh no! I don't like this. Gosh so dang it, I never click my character. I'm sorry. Lothaya, no you're worst. not part of Short Squad! Oh. I mean, no, I'm not, thankfully. But that doesn't mean I can't be sorry to hear it. I get to watch all four of you go down this thing. Oh, that's right. That's fair. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Oh, great. So, burrowing under the ground, this massive, almost worm-like creature just coming towards you. Top speed. Verna, you're first off the gun. Ooh, this is rough. I want to be the best bird man I can be. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I think... Be the best bird. I can be, I will cast <sighs> Animal friendship is not going to work because this is it is a beast, is that correct? Uh, make a nature check for me, Verna I, I know if I can be friends with this Oh, it's a little more of a monstrosity type thing. It's not quite a beast. It probably doesn't want to be friends then. Okay. It looks hungry. Um, okay. I then am going to use my Staff of the Sands, and on that entire half of the Coliseum, I'm going to release an Insect Plague. Oh, shit. All right, so that's a 20-foot radius? What's the radius? Uh, no, it's freaking big. It's like a 40-foot uh, square. Insect plague is a 20-foot radius sphere centered that's on That's what point. a radius is. Yep. Yeah. Map. Here we go again. All right. So insect plague. Let's make that the sickly green color. Um, so you can put that wherever you want with the skull here. Can you see the aura there? Yeah, I see the skull. All right, so where would you like it? I want it off of us, so maybe somewhere down here. Okay, so kind of like there? Yeah, just like Perfect. right in front of okay. the man. Looks like he just released a whole bunch of bugs. Mm -hmm. All right, when it appears, each creature in it must make a constitution saving throw. So he's going to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, that's a 24, so he saves, uh, but he's going to take half damage, so half of 4d10. So you can go ahead and roll 2d10. All right, so he will take 10 points of damage. Nice. All righty. Uh, so that'll be it for Verna. That'll bring us to Storak. Storak kind of... Sees this thing coming and is just going to meet it head on. He's going to charge right into the insect oh, plague. Yep, yep, that's a good idea. Um, And he's going to attack... Uh, I hate it when the character sheets get <laughs> fucked up on roll 20. Um, They just sometimes get a little wonky. Okay, Storak. Let's see. Two attacks with his spear. Or three attacks with his spear. Should be three, right? All right. Yeah. The first one is a miss. They're all at disadvantage, by the way, because he's shit based. Um, so a nine, a fifteen misses, but that last one manages to get and just kind of <clears throat> gets a lucky shot right in the thing's eye, and it kind of screeches for eleven points of piercing damage. All right. Uh, that'll be his turn. That'll bring us to Matthias. Actually, at the uh, end of his turn, he's gonna make a con save. Uh, he does succeed, but he's going to take 2d10 bug damage. 
All right, takes nine points of damage. All righty. That'll bring us to Lathias. I'm going to uh, call in my echo because I'm not going into the bugs. Okay. But he can. Sure. <laughs> And we're going to go in, we're going to attack the thing. Okay. Alrighty, a 15 is going to miss. And then I'm going to move myself this way. Okay. At the uh, end of your turn, the echo is in the bug, so it will automatically take damage and get dissipated. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, that'll bring us to Nola. So what the crowd sees is just me running into like yeah, just running over to where I'm standing now. Mm -hmm. Wait, yeah, because the the insect plate is heavily obscured. It's lightly obscured. Okay. Okay. Um. So we're gonna move forward, and we're just gonna double throw the psychic blades at it. Go for it with sneak attack on the first one. 17 will just hit for the first nice. one, so that's going to be 19 points of damage there. Good shot. And the second one is also hit with a 21 for another 5 points of psychic. Good damage. Damn. All right, um, all right. Anything else? Nope, that's it. All right, good turn. That'll bring us to Vorden. Okay. Borden's going to also do something very similar and just move up a little bit. Okay. And uh, my first attack would be sneak, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, since I can't get close without getting bit by bugs. All right. From my sources, Borden is very allergic to bugs. <laughs> Doesn't like bugs. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. 19. 19 will hit for 9 points of damage. Nice shot. Yeah. Alrighty. Harper P. Sweddington. Actually, Harper, what's your dex? Harper's dex yeah, it's is... Higher, a... higher, higher. Yeah, you're good. Harper is going to move in 10 feet. Okay. And is going to pop an Eldritch Blaster to the, uh, the land shark. Okay. And, uh, yeah. I have some words I'm going to say afterwards, but I want to get the attack out of the way. Okay. Do, 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 do. 19 and a 20. Well, 19. 19 will hit. I don't think that transported. There we go. 19 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Um, Woo! Big Ooh! damage. That, Hot damn. That's, is that max? No. Uh, yeah. That's max. Yeah. Max damage. Nice. <laughs> All righty. That's, um, and af after he does this, the Grand Blood Fist flourishing his weapon, giving the beast a chance to survive after one hit. Kinda Make just... a performance check. Uh, I'm not good at... Well, I'm okay at those. Not great. Hmm? <gasps> oh, ha Halfling 1? Yeah, that was a Halfling 1. Um, mm. Alright, alright. 17. 17? Yeah. Stream okay, or is that on my end? Um, what... What's wrong? Seems to be lagging. Oh, yeah. Uh, you are. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, we no. dropped. Oh, we dropped? Oh. Okay, well, just... Yep. We'll get it back going. Okay, want me to just keep going? Yep, that's fine. Okay. No, we, we will, I think it might be a citywide spectrum thing, because mine is being very trash at my house, too. Uh -oh. Okay. We will do what yeah. we can. All right. We're just going to keep rolling, then, I guess. Yep. We're still okay. recording, so yeah. So for for the YouTube's, okay. For the YouTube's. Harper Harper goes. That makes it the land shark's turn. It's going to leap up out of the air, take the opportunity attack. Um, so Storak is going to take an attack at disadvantage. Uh, it's going to be a miss, and it's going to just belly flop right on top of Verna, Nola, and Harper. We appear to Get out of back. here. Okay, so. Back? Um, it's loading on my end, so maybe. Okay. Maybe. Um, God, I lost all my nicknames. Yeah. Oh well. Fuck it. Okay. So deadly leap. Deadly leap. 
Yep, it's back. Okay. Oh, no, I'm frozen. Oh, no. Oh, God. This is... This is going. Yay! <laughs> oh, bye. Oh. <laughs> it, it seems to be an outage. Yeah. Yeah, we are having uh, We are recording straight on through. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, we'll, we'll just make it make it work. Mm -hmm. Um so I guess I will roll for Nola cuz she, she's out, I guess. Okay. Um no worries. Internet problems happen. Uh so Nola's going to make a deck save cuz she's better at those. Um so that's a fail, and then I need one from uh, Harper whenever you get a chance. What is it? I'm sorry. Uh, either dex or strength save. Your choice. Oh, that'll be a dex, sir. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. A three and a two. <laughs> okay. You guys, you guys are all going to take full damage. Welcome back, Noah. Hello. I was about to just restart my whole computer. <laughs> Yeah. You guys are all going to take 25 points of damage. Oh my god. No! As you, just no get, we're not... you get squashed what? and knocked out and knocked prone. As Verna, you get knocked prone over here, and Noah, you get knocked prone over there. As this thing just belly flopped. Yeah. It just belly flopped on top of all of you, and you all just went and splatted out from underneath it for 25 points of damage. Yeah, yeah, we're we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out. Yeah, we're no, out. that that's fine. Is uh, unconscious? yep, no um, one's unconscious. Okay, um, uh, viewers, Verna is live. Awesome, thank you. Get those votes in, folks. Uh, Verna, I need a concentration check on that uh, insect plague, if you don't mind. Oh my goodness, concentration. Um. And I'm trying to remember what to click. Is it just a D20? It's a constitution saving throw. That's what it is. Thank you. You're trying to beat a 12. All right. Oh. Insect plague is still there. Nice. All right. Alrighty. Uh, and that is yeah. his... That is part of his movement. So that's not even his attack. Oh, boy. So then... He's going to turn towards the very tasty halfling right there next to him, Mr. Harper, and he's going to bite Rats out at you. for me you. being clean! <laughs> he's going to bite out at you at advantage because you are prone. Um, does that negate because of the cloak displacement? I think because you took damage from is the... It, is it because I took damage or is it when an attack hits? Let me uh, look. I don't, I don't know if you know, but... Um, I, I don't because know. Because you took damage. Um, uh, if, if you take yeah. damage, the property okay, cool. So, that's good enough. Added damage is wow, a fucking one and a three. So that's a ten oh. to hit. Oh. It stomps at you, and you can smell the thing's breath and hear its teeth grind inches from your face. And cool. now the heroic Starak will save his compatriots. <laughs> Alrighty, top of the round. That will bring us to Verna. This stinks. You should smell his breath. Okay. Um, I am going to, as a bonus action, cast Healing Word on Noah. I just remember how it works. Um, action, it's 60 feet. Great. A D4 plus my spellcasting ability modifier is going to be... That's three plus four is seven. Seven healing back to Noah. Nice. Yay. Yay. Welcome back to the land of the living. <laughs> um, and then I am going to drop my concentration on the insect plague, which I think would have happened anyway. Um, I'm going to stand up. Okay. And I'm going to cast... My favorite moonbeam on this guy again, because I... Ready. Um, yeah. Nice. He's going to make a constitution saving throw, as it appears. Uh, big old constitution, so he does save, but that's still 1d10 damage. can take it. 
All right. One point of damage. Nice. <laughs> All righty. Every point counts. All right. That will bring us to Storak, who kind of stumbles and, like, sees the thing move and kind of turns around. And he's just going to kind of, like, run after it like a kid chasing a ball. Uh, and he's going to go for three attacks at disadvantage with his spear because he's shit-faced. Uh, that's a miss. That's a miss. And a miss. And just kind of, <laughs> just, like, scribbling on the thing and just trying to poke it. Stand still, you fucking piece of garbage. Crap. Um, with that, it's your turn. Uh huh. <laughs> um, I'm going to call out Echo because okay. I can. Uh, in between us here, and we are going to. Um, so this is a long ass wait, but I'm gonna. We're both gonna just step up on the other side, like he called us in his rambling rage, called us to his side, and we're going to attempt to help Storak on his next turn. Ooh, okay. Negate disadvantage. I like that. Okay. Nice. So, Alrighty. Yes. That will bring us to Nola. Alright. We're going to use half the movement to stand up. Nice. And then... We're going to move to, like, right to the edge here. Okay. And we're going to throw the first Psychic Blade, which That'll is not going to hit. Oh, it will? Yeah, the 17 will hit. Oh, okay. Yeah, for 18 points. Nice. Okay, okay, we'll take it. And then the second one. Is a is miss. That one kind of scrapes off the top of it, and the blade kind of flows before disappearing. And then random question, how tall is is this like a like an awning? Is this like what is Open this? Air. That's probably where the, the blood fist seat is, so it's probably about twenty five feet up. It's pretty tall. Like you guys are down below so that everyone can kind of see into the pit. All right, that's my turn. Alrighty. The thing screams in pain and roars and starts thrashing around desperately. It's looking pretty hurt at this point. That'll bring us to Vorden. Uh, um, Vorden is going to step away from the group for a few places. Okay. Just, just to make sure he doesn't get squished. And uh, it wouldn't, no, it would, it would be sneak again. Uh, yeah, so because you have an adjacent ally, it would be yeah. sneak attack. Perfect. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and take a pot shot. All right. Ten is going to be a shot. miss. The arrow kind of bounces off one of its teeth. It kind of snaps at the arrow, breaking the shaft in midair. It's 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 pretty tanky. Yeah. Uh, and then as a uh, bonus action, I'm going to dash down here. Perfect. Alrighty. Harper P. Swiddington. Alrighty. So Harper is going to use half his movement to stand up. Okay. And he's going to. Uh, so half of. So he's going to get right behind Storak. Kind of. Uh, he is going to take an opportunity attack at you. Then there's no fucking way I'm doing that. Okay. Because um, let's face it, I'm not going to survive that. Oh, fuck. I don't. Oh my god, I don't have anything. I'd have to risk... I'm going to disengage. I'm sorry. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to move 10 feet away because that's all I have left. Okay. Alrighty. That's it. The bullet is going to go, and it's uh, going to start its turn in the moonbeam, so it'll make a constitution saving throw. Uh, that's a success, so that's uh, 1d10 two points of damage. It's kind of like rearing in pain, not exactly sure what to do. It's desperate. It's angry. It's going to lash out and bite at the halfling nearest it because these things love to eat halflings. So Verna against you uh, is going to be a 10 to hit. Oh, she lived a nice life. Oh, oh, oh good. Never mind. No, that misses. And misses. Yeah. All Thank right. God. That'll bring us to your turn, Verna. Oh my god, okay. Uh, I'm gonna maintain 
concentration on this guy and I'm going to uh I'm gonna take the disengage action and I'm gonna run away. Alrighty. Run for like back this way. Alright. Alrighty. Right in front of and Storak kind of like reeling from his last attack, kind of leaning back. Both Lathiath and the Echo kind of spring him together forward for this next attack. Straight attack roll. That is going to be an 18 to hit for 14 points of piercing, and Storak gets the kill. He like jumps on top of this, pierces the thing right through that head, kind of driving his spear and twists it and rips it out and sort of screams up, and the crowd goes wild. And with that, ladies and gentlemen... You guys have successfully completed the mission. Luke, um, could we have shield launched him like they well, fuck do? Yeah, fuck like, yeah. Hunter would just launch him up into the air so he came down going, ah. Fuck yeah, I dig it. Perfect. Yeah. Um, grand <laughs> celebrations, lots of drinking, lots of feasting, lots of excitement about the oncoming wedding. Um, and you guys managed to successfully complete the mission. Uh, viewer's choice is going to be Verna. Congratulations, Congrats, Verna. So you are all going to earn one tea leaf point. Verna, you're going to earn viewer's choice. I am going to give uh, DM's choice tonight. I'm going to give it to Harper because I think you really played up that sort of, you know, that salesman pitch, that sort of keeping the vibe up, you know, keeping the excitement, the energy, the party lifestyle up. So Harper, you can go ahead and take your bonus tea leaf point. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You are all going to be paid um, from the Bloodfist coffers for keeping him alive and making sure he looked pretty cool. Uh, that's going to be 275 gold. A little bit. Not, not a huge amount. Uh, you're all going to gain 525 experience. Type in all that in the World 20 chat. And uh, this one comes with a guild unlock, folks. Nice. So, kind of similar to how we've been doing these little regional uh, thingy-majiggers. Um, where is it? Handouts and the links, campaign options. Ah! Sorry. It's all good. 166 experience. Oh, oh man. I'm over so the 100 close. cap. Wow. So, uh, the guild now has the option to unlock the Zaris Pit of Bones martial training. For the cost of five tea leaf points, your character can attempt to learn and study the ways of war and battle in the Pit of Bones of Zaris. Over the course of a week, your character will learn the basic fundamentals of martial combat and take a test after each day. The process of learning and performing in these exams is represented by an associated skill check. Uh, so it works just the way the other ones, like the, the Lexigrad and the uh, Plankberg one work. Um, but your options for feats are different here. So if you manage to succeed five out of the seven skill checks... You can take one of the following feats, being Martial Adept, Fighting Initiate, Crusher, Piercer, or Slasher. Uh, you can attempt this as many times as you need to, but you may only pass once. So you can only possibly get one of those feats. But something else to spend your tea leaf points on to, uh, you know, get those sweet, sweet buffs. And that's available to everyone in the Tea Leaf Adventuring Company now. I will post that in the Discord as soon as this is over. Um, so congrats. Nice. Uh, there's also a little bit of loot. Just for you guys. Just a little bit there, love. Just a little bit of loot there. We do have a rollover, which I think is a duplicate item, because I think no, I think Verna has this item. Which but one is it? That would be the Staff of Swarming Insects. I believe that's what you use to do your insect plague, right? Something called the Staff of the Sands? Ah, okay. So it's similar, but not exactly the same. Okay. So, um, this is the rollover item, so if you are interested in that, the command, as always, is in roll 20 slash W space GM, and then the number of tea leaf points you would like to bid. That is a very strong staff, I will say. So, if you uh, are interested, go ahead and get those tea leaf point bids in now. It does require a tunic by a bard, cleric, druid, sorcerer, warlock, or wizard. Which Wide open. Yeah, there's a lot of options. I think only one of you in this party could technically use it, but you could sell it. You could buy it for a bit of point and sell it for gold. So, Two of going us. once. Two of us, but that's okay. Druid and a uh, sorry, uh, warlock. You're right, you're right, you're right. 
Uh, so, going once. Going twice. Nobody. Okay, that's going to roll over. Uh, so that'll be two weeks remain. Okay. Uh, and then the single item for tonight. Uh, that'll be all players is going to be a simple one. Uh, this is the Gauntlets of Ogre Power. Uh, requires attunement, makes your strength score 19. Not too shabby. <laughs> I just thought about bidding on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hmm, maybe. <laughs> Alrighty, if you're interested in the Gauntlets of Ogre Power, go ahead and get those bids in now. Going once. Going twice. Um, going thrice. Alrighty. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. I need a D100 roll, would you kindly, from both Lithiath and Pass. from Harper. Pass. Take it. Passing? Okay. Passing. And uh, for the cost of one tea leaf point, that'll I, go to Lithiath. I only Thank threw it on if nobody was going to take it, so... <laughs> All right, you can go ahead and copy and paste that right onto your character sheet. And oh, uh, nice. That's a nice little stat bump for you. Mm -hmm. Sweet. All righty. Guys, that was an absolute blast. That was a fun one. Uh, continuing a little bit with the Storak and the Red Blades and the Weston plot line. Um, next one's probably going to be the wedding. I'm excited for that. Nice. I like those like ritzy party party like role play heavy missions. You do. Those are You've done fun. quite a few. They they are. Hmm. Is there going to be a wedding murder? A wedding murder? Why what? would there be a wedding murder? This this isn't Game of Thrones. I don't know. It'd just be fun. <laughs> it would just be fun. I'll consider it just for you. <laughs> Who can I murder? Maybe Weston. No one likes him. <laughs> no, no, really, I... nobody does. We're going to raid out. Uh, go ahead and tell uh, Death Wolf that Dungeon Daddy said sup. A little winky face. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight. We had a blast. We will see you tomorrow for some open lobby phasmophobia. And Thursday, Mr. Wee Wee is going to DM. Um, please take care of yourself. Have a good week. We love you. And uh, check you next time. Toodles. Thanks for playing. Bye. Toodles.